Hello, hello, hello. Hey, WG. Hey, 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 two chicks fam. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing great. I am doing great. WG says, hey, fam, King Branded here. I'm at a basketball game tonight. I will be a little late tonight. It's okay, WG. He says, um, Felicia says that WG, hey, King, enjoy the game. WG says, it's my high school. My buddy kid is playing. It sure has changed the way kids play from when I was in high school. He says, thanks, Felicia. Uh, he says, FYI, back sitters, yeah, I'm at a basketball game. Guess what? I did three surveys during half. <laughs> That's funny. He says, where you at back there? Uh, Felicia says, the king has spoken. Hey, Tip Jeff. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, all is well. How are you? And if y'all are new to our channel, welcome. Come on in. We're going to wait for some more people to come in. And if anybody has any good news they want to share, be sure to drop it in the chat so that we can celebrate you. Uh, hey, Felicia. She says, hi, Carl. How are you doing tonight, Queen? I am great. How are you? Laughing at WG. He's so funny. <laughs> hey, Leonica. She says, hello, Carl. Felicia says, liked and shared. Thank you. Hey, autism mommy. She says, hey, Carl. How are you ladies tonight? And y'all let us know if you have any good news that you want to share. Maybe you filled out an application. Maybe you started a job today. Maybe you got a job offer for another job coming up. Maybe you started a side hustle over the weekend. Or maybe you started one today. Put it in the chat. We are nosy and we want to know. Hey, Helen. Queen Helen is in the building. She is the queen of... Prolific. Helen, did you make any money today? Felicia, have you made any money today off of Branded or Survey Junkie? Yeah, I'll put it in the chat. You know I'm nosy. I want to know. Yeah, let us know in the chat if you have made any money today off of these side hustle sites that we talk about. Yeah, be sure to like and share. I see Helen has spoken. So Helen is also the queen of data annotation. So let's see what the queen has to say. So let's put it up here so everybody can see. She says, I've made $99.38 with data annotations and am about to clock in for a two-hour shift with next rev. All right. And I have talked about data annotations on this channel. Also, Prolific um, is another good one. A lot of people are hearing back from Prolific fast. Now, I don't know what Prolific is looking for. I know I see some people that are in the comments saying over on Facebook, they have not heard back from Prolific just yet. And they filled out the information like a week ago, two weeks ago. So if you have not heard back from Prolific, I would say separate email, new email, try again. I have no idea what Prolific is looking for. It may be for some. It may not be for some. They could be picking and choosing how you are, what you are saying on your profile. And based on what you say, it could be a yes or it could be a no. 
I don't know though. I have no idea. So let me find the link for Prolific. If anyone here wants to give Prolific a go, Queen Helen, she is able to pay her card notes off of this website. And uh, Queen Mamie uh, made like $130. She was here last night. She made $130 off of Prolific. So y'all be sure to get Prolific in your baskets. Um, tip just says, I got an invite from Prolific. Uh-oh. Can anyone tell me if this site is easy to make money? Yep, Queen Helen is here. She says, um, she made a few dollars uh today with Prolific. Congratulations, Tip Jeff. Woo! Congrats. Um Felicia says, branded, I worked WG schedule and did pretty good today. I am at $25.13 so far. All right, girl. Yeah, I still sleep on branded. I seen somebody in the comments on a video yesterday. Tried to make a joke about it and was like, um, and I'm probably going to have to tell WG when he comes back. But she was like, what type of computers do they have? Do they have like a supercomputer? And I'm like, ma'am, now if you heard what I said in the video, but you done skipped all over, you just listened and heard what you wanted to hear. And I specifically said, if you don't know how to do it, then you need to be on the next live stream. I bet she's not here. But you'll be back in the comments complaining again, saying, oh, I don't know how they're able to make this. And oh, I don't know how they're able to make that. Well, I invited you to come on the live. I can't twist your arm and make you come, but that's neither here nor there. But I just wanted to throw that out there. Just kind of weird to me how people, you tell them, okay, come on the lives. We got the information, but they won't show up. So that's what Helen said. Uh, hey, stop six. Stop six says, yes, I finally made it to a live stream. Welcome. Hey, Nanya. Nanya says she is in the building. Felicia says, Helen Diva style. She says, congrats. So happy for you. Leonica says, congrats to you, Helen. Felicia says, welcome. Stop. Stop six. And then stop six says, anyone have any pointers for three play media? The voice writer. Stop six. Did you hear back from three play media? Helen says, a tip, Jeff, Prolific is one of the easier sites to make money on, in my opinion. You don't have to go through a lot of disqualifications because they usually only offer studies that you qualify for. So that's good to know. Thank you, Helen. That is good to know. Glad, glad, glad somebody said something about that one. Leonica, what you want me to do, Queen? Because you done said this about a hundred times. What? Tell me, Leonica, while we while I'm on here, what you want me to do? You haven't heard back yet. What can I do? Helen says, thanks, everyone. Uh, stop six. She says, Felicia, thank you. Tip just says, thanks, Helen. Queen Mamie is here. She says, hey, family, liked and share. But let me know, Leonica, what I can do. Mm. Alicia says, branded King WG approved. <laughs> oh, what? Girl, say it ain't so, Queen Mamie. Felicia says, Mamie, how are you? So this is what Mamie said. Now, I dropped this video the other day. Y'all see that? She says, make made $30, she says, on time bucks today and another 30 by working other eggs today. I had set a goal today, took seven hours, and that's not bad at all. To do some side hustles? Girl. <laughs> Go ahead, Queen Mamie. So if y'all are interested in the time bucks link, I am going to put it in the chat. This is another survey site, but they do have like different things that you can do outside of surveys. So give me one second. Let me find it. 
and I'll put it here in the chat. This is a good one. Queen Mamie is she rocking it out. She knocking it out the park. Come on, Queen Mamie. Give us some tips, girl. How you get that thirty dollars on time books? What did you do, Mamie? Was it the surveys, or was it something else? Um. So I put the link in the chat for time books. If anybody's interested, Xavier says hi, Carl and Tan, the Goat Queens. Hey, Xavier, how are you today? Mamie says, hey, Felicia, hey, Queen, I'm good. How are you? Hey, Tamika, she says, hey, Carol, we're texting only people, the one that is called, I think, uh, Texting Factory. She says, do you experience a long wait before a message pops up before you can start texting? I have no idea, Tamika. I don't work for that one. But I'll put your question here just in case somebody here works for texting factory and can help queen tamika out stephanie says hey miss Kara, liked and shared um xavier says liked and shared leonica says nothing you can do i'm just waiting to hear back i would apply again leonica bug them they get tired of me that's how i had to do with fancy hands i had to keep applying 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 until finally i got in Nanya says, hi, Mamie. Hey, JD. Uh, Felicia says, congrats, Mamie. Mamie says, hey there, Nanya. Uh, Felicia says, hi, Xavier. Okay, so Stop6 says, yes, it took months, but I finally heard back from 3Play Media. All right, girl. <laughs> Congratulations. So if anybody's interested in 3Play Media, last time I put up the video, a few days ago, had a lot of people in the comments mad because they didn't hear back from 3Play Media or 3Play Media was not hiring in their state. Nothing I can do. I can't do anything about that. And I thought, I think one lady thought I was going to go back and forth with her about that. Ma'am, I don't own 3Play Media. There's nothing I can do. I dropped the link. If they don't hire in your state, reach out to them and say, hey, why you don't hire in my state? I want to work for your company, but I can't. I can't because you don't hire in my state. Is there a particular reason why you don't hire in my state? Nothing I can do about that. Um, Helen got hired at 3Play Media. Hello, Lonnie. She got hired at 3Play Media. There was a young lady here last night. She applied and hurried back within, I think, maybe a few hours. So this is another good one, ladies and gentlemen. No interview, no experience. You're basically listening and repeating what the speakers say. This one, I want to say... Um, I want to say they also have the transcription portion as well but not sure if you would have to do that with this. I don't think so because I think that's a separate project, but I don't know if they will let you guys, if you wanted to take on more projects with them, I don't know if they would let you or allow you to do that or not. But you could see if you just was interested in doing the transcription side, but this one does pay $30 an hour. So y'all may want to run and check out 3Play Media. And again, congratulations, Stop Six. Uh, Felicia says, Xavier, the love king. <laughs> Mamie says, Time Bugs did hire paint surveys with one of their lab researchers. Oh, wow. Thank you, Xavier. Uh, he says, Hi, Felicia. Nanya says, Hi, Xavier. Nanya says, At Stop Six, hello. Mamie says, Prolific already had the eggs in the basket. They wanted me to work this morning, and I work branded, too. All right. Congratulations, Queen Mamie. Hello, Lonnie is in the building. Hey, Queen. She says, hey, everyone. Hope everyone is well. Um, Xavier says, Ed Nanya, yo. <laughs> Felicia says, I will have to apply, apply, apply. Fly back to fancy hands like you. Yep. 
uh for fancy hands different email leonica um she says hi polo Lani from felicia stephanie says got an email from prolific and i have a survey waiting she says anyone else got the payout in pounds nine dollars and 90 cents for 78 minutes so let's put that up Mamie says for the next couple of days, Time Books offers bonus pay. Okay. On some survey researchers on their site. Oh, wow. Um, Stop Six says everyone should apply to 3 Play Media because she saw the listing over on another blog. Girl, they probably was over here looking at our streams. They stay doing that. It's okay, though. It's all good. But um, y'all want to sign up? Y'all go sign up for Three Play Media. This is a good one. Time Books. That's another good one. Queen Mamie is making money off of that one. Hit $30 today. Uh, Xavier says, making a video of scratching my head. <laughs> well, hey, Xavier, somebody going to be looking at you, honey. Scratch on. <laughs> Polo Lonnie, she says, hi, Felicia. I'm pretty sure you will. I'm pretty sure. Now you say, Stephanie, yes, it's in pounds, but it changes over in your PayPal account. Hey, Robin. Robin says, good evening, everyone. Like and share. Make sure you like and share the video. Uh <laughs> Girl, they be over here. Yeah, if you if you just pay attention to the words that I say on these thumbnails, and then you're gonna see everybody else, they're gonna start saying the same thing. And I say stuff just to see if they're gonna copy it. And I be telling Tangent, you see this? You and Tangent be like, Yep. But it's all good though. But that just lets me know I must be doing something right when it comes to words. I got words for days. So y'all can steal away, still on. Who cares? I don't. Stephanie says, thanks, Nanya, for the info. Uh, Mamie says, thank you, everybody, and congrats to you all. Xavier says, I love the side hustles. Meeks no stepped in here where she is. Oh, there she go. <laughs> I didn't even see you, Meeks. Felicia says, hi, Queen Meeks. She says, how are you feeling? And David says, I have a big head. That's funny. Uh, she says, I'm starting to feel a lot better. My taste is back. Just waiting for my scent to come back. And Felicia, thanks for asking. I hope you're doing great today. Hi, Queen Meeks. Glad to know that you are feeling better, Queen. So Queen Meeks is the queen of branded surveys. WG, he's the king of branded surveys, and Meeks is the queen. She's also the queen of fancy hands. Um, hey, Magris. Magris says, hey, 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 two chicks fam. Hey, Seville. Uh, Christina. They mostly deal with, like, transcription, um, but they do have a what they call a voice writer position. This is a good one because you're just listening and repeating what the speakers are saying. So you're not talking to anyone. It is a non-phone opportunity, but you are using your voice, but you are not talking to like customers or anything like that. Well, let me find the link and put it back in here. I just had it. What did I do with it? So again, if anybody wants to check out 3Play Media, the link, I think I put the wrong link in there, y'all. So this the this the correct link. <laughs> Stop six said they could at least use chat GPT and reword it. I ain't gonna do that. Mm -mm. Yeah, and that tangent I always say is that Felicia, the imitation is the highest of flattery she always says that we just be laughing because it's funny to me still on we don't care uh me says hi carl hey queen polo london says like and share xavier says i'm a hater bouncer <laughs> not a hater bouncer 
Uh, Stop Six says three play media transcription and voice writing. They just got that voice writing one not too long ago because long time ago I never saw that particular project, but that's a good one. That is an excellent one. Me says I did prolific today. She says prolific is stealing me from Brandy. <laughs> okay, so you about to become the queen of prolific, me? Is that what you're trying to tell us? <laughs> Um, Nanya says hi, my Grizz, and Christina says okay, cool and prolific. Sorry, I'm new to your channel. That's okay. Uh, prolific, you are getting paid to do studies and take surveys, Christina. And welcome to the channel. Christina says she is new here, everyone. So if you want to sign up, Christina, for prolific, the link is in the chat. We do have a lot of people on here that does prolific uh queen helen she makes enough to pay her car note from this website stop six says it makes is branded the chat job branded survey stop six branded is the survey site now the king of branded he was on here when i first got on but he said that he would be coming in later on, ladies and gentlemen, because he is at a game. But anywho, we do have others here. If you guys have any questions about branded surveys, Meeks is the queen. So if you want to ask something about branded, the queen of branded surveys is here. Felicia does branded surveys. There are a lot of people here. Queen Mamie, she does branded surveys. So ask away. If you want to know anything about branded. Now, I know WG makes around $300 a week off of branded. I think, Meeks, Meeks, where are you now on branded? I think the last time you told us you was over $300, I believe. And if anybody wants to sign up for branded, the link is in the chat. Because a lot of people think you cannot make money off of these sites. Well, we do have a lot of people here that make money from prolific respondology. The queen of respondology makes $500 a week. Um, user interviews. This is another good one. We had a gentleman here that made $2,000 off of D Scout user interviews and product report card. And all of these are side hustles. So I'm going to be dropping links in the chat for you guys to sign up. If you are new here and you really just don't know what's going on and what we're talking about, put it in the chat so that we can point you in the right direction. So this is Respondology. And I don't know if Natalie is here yet. But she makes $500 a week off of this one. Hey, T-Lux. T-Lux says, hello, two chicks. Liked and shared. Thank you, Queen. Felicia says, it makes I was on lockdown with Brandy because I was at Survey Junkie's house and Brandy didn't like it. <laughs> Meeks says, Brandy is a survey site. Nanya says, it makes I know what you mean. Mamie says, a queen meeks uh, uh, stealing you from Brandy. Say it ain't so. <laughs> y'all funny. Y'all going, y'all cheating on these folks. <laughs> y'all going from one to the next, to the next, to the next. Um, stop six. The link is in the chat for prolific. So this is what meeks says, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all see this? I'm making $25 to $35 on Prolific daily. Right now, I'm trying to get to $40 a day. For the people in the back, if you still somewhere sitting on that fence back there and you think that these survey sites, these studies, these focus group sites don't make money, I don't know what to tell you. We do the live stream so that you guys can help each other and interact with each other so that you can come on here and you can see for yourself. It's not me typing. I'm not Meeks Adorable. I don't know Meeks from a can of paint. I don't know anybody here from a can of paint in person, but I know them from coming on 
the live streams. They don't know me. They don't know Tangi. We're not paying nobody to come over here and say, oh, I made this and oh, I made that. What do I have to gain from that? I'm not going to gain anything if you go and sign up for Prolific. I'm not getting any money from Prolific. I am not a spokesperson for any of these companies. Yes, we do have recruiters that reach out to us. And you will hear me state that in the videos or on the live streams. If a recruiter from Prolific reaches out to me, then you'll hear me say, hey, Somebody from Prolific reached out, one of the recruiters, one of the schedulers, they are looking for people to come over here and sign up. But if you don't hear me say that, then a recruiter has not reached out to us about any of this. So we are just here to help you guys make money from the home, from outside of the home, from your computer. That is our, I feel like that is our job. Christina says, thank you. I subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you, Queen. Uh, Polo Lani says, welcome, Christina. Uh, Christina says, does Prolific have weekly, I'm thinking you saying weekly pay, or is it sort of twice a month? Anybody can help answer that question for Queen Christina. Hey, Jarvis. Jarvis says, hey, Carol and Chad, hope I haven't missed too much. Nope. Just got on here about... Almost 30 minutes ago, Jarvis. So uh -uh. he says, I liked and shared. Thank you, King. Uh, Nanya says, Welcome, Christina. Christina says, Wow, I need to jump on this ASAP. It is a long time. Is it a long hiring process for which company, Christina? A lot of these side hustles, no. Some of them they do have waiting lists like. Respondology has a waiting list, also prolific, but lately prolific, they have been, you know, coming back kind of fast with a lot of people. Um, that was about the only few that I know that have waiting lists. Oh, and one more. Um, what is it? Oh, I can't even think of the name of it. It'll come to me in a second. It's one more company with well, two more companies that have the waiting list. One is Simpler Flex, and the other one is Chat Desk. So Chat Desk, Prolific, and Respondology, those four are the four companies that I know about off the top of my head. Mamie says, Meeks, that's good. That's a good goal to set. Uh, Stop6 says, I have always been very skeptical about survey sites for the surveyors. Do you think some of us could hook up at least one day a week and work together? So we do the live stream, Stop6, and we are on here. We have been on here I have been doing them now for since like October on Mondays and Tuesdays. And we come on here Sundays and Wednesdays. So that's like four live streams in a week. Now, Tan, she's jumped on last Saturday. Well, not last Saturday. Saturday before last, she was on here. So we are on here. We are on the live streams. The king of branded surveys, he's here. Karima, she's the queen of Survey Junkie. As you can see, a lot of people do prolific. So any questions that you have, put it here in the chat. This is the reason why we do the live streams because we know people have questions. We know people are skeptical. We know that people don't know how to make money from these sites. But that is why our wonderful, amazing, and awesome community, we all come together to brainstorm and we get ideas from each other. So again, if there is anything that you have seen on this channel, anything that we talked about in these chats, let us know. If you don't know how to make the money, that is why we do the live streams and that is what the community is here for. We are all here as a whole and we are all here helping each other make money. Whatever tips and tricks I have for whatever jobs that I have worked for, whatever side hustles Tan has done, whatever side hustles I have done, whatever job she has done, we don't mind sharing the information with you. And a lot of our subscribers here, they don't mind sharing the information as well. So whatever questions you guys have, let us know in the chat because I'm not a mind reader. I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking or what's your thought process, but just put it in the chat and we will try to steer you in the right direction. So Felicia says, Meeks has been over at Prolific's house. <laughs> Christina says, I was always skeptical of the survey site, so I'm happy I caught your live. A lot of people are. A lot of people are skeptical. A lot of people think you can't make money from survey sites. 
Well, we got a lot of people here that's making money from a lot of the survey sites and the companies that we drop in the chat or that we have talked about on previous videos. So stick with the people in the chat. They can steer you in the right direction. Felicia says, uh, Jarvis, how are you? Um, Xavier says, Carl and Tan are changing people's lives. He says, God will bless them. Thank you. Stop six. She's not here. So I really cannot answer that question. If she comes in, I will let you know. Because I pretty much know, like, what they from what they tell me, like who is you know doing what and how much they're making. Mamie says, I'm watching what's sliding in these comments. We see you <laughs> and welcome. <laughs> Mamie, you over there cutting up. Um, stop six says, It makes how much time does that consume? Now, one thing about it, stop six, you have to be consistent. So it's, it's going to take some time, especially starting out with branded surveys. You're not going to start out making $1,200 a month like WG. Not saying that you can't ever make $1,200 a month, but even WG says that it took him two months to build up to the $300 plus a week that he makes off of branded surveys. So that's one tip, consistency, dedication. And it will take time to build up. Felicia says, doing branded now while on the live. And a lot of people do that, Stop Six. A lot of people watch the streams and they are behind the scenes playing the games, taking surveys, and doing studies on prolific. So while you're watching the streams, you could be on branded surveys, taking surveys. Felicia says, doing branded. Hey, Lissandra. She says, good evening, Carl, and everybody else. Uh, Style 6 says, has anyone tried Upwork? I find it to be impossible. Um, I'm going to say Prepper because I don't know that first name. Prepper says, I need help with Respondology. I'm only getting $6 a week. The Queen is not here yet. Prepper, hopefully she'll pop in. Hey, L.Y. L.Y. says, thank you for all that you do. Uh, Stop Six says the recruiters are always reaching out to our two chicks. That's true. She says, Carl, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So stick with us, Stop Six, and I can guarantee you that you will make some money off of something, whether it's a job, a side gig, a hustle, survey sites, mystery shop sites, uh, task-based sites, uh, research sites, Focus group sites. You're going to make some kind of money, girl. Mamie says, we put the work in on these. I promise you, I be falling asleep <laughs> doing, <laughs> doing the survey. She says, you have to put the work in. And that is true. Uh, you said both companies. Girl, I still don't know which ones. Give us the name. Hey, Pretty Brown Twin. Stop six says, is there a strategy? I would say yes. Stop six, yes, ma'am. And everybody here has different strategies, but they don't mind sharing their information with you guys. Nanya says, hi, Jarvis. <laughs> Stop six says, I would not miss another live stream. Okay, girl. Uh, Mix says, for me, it doesn't take a long time. So this is what Mix says. She says, it doesn't take a long time because I mostly get the 2 to $3 studies and sometimes 4 to $8 studies. So right now it's not hard for me. However, I have a friend that doesn't get more than three studies. And that's also going to depend on what you put on that profile. What are you saying on the profile? Java says, okay. It's been a long celebrating some milestones my son accomplished, and I have a job interview on Friday. <laughs> Go ahead, Jarvis. Woohoo! Jarvis got an interview, y'all, on Friday. <laughs> uh, T Lux Tan mailed out some today, but I'll, I'll ask her tomorrow.
but I don't know who she mailed, like which ones and who she, what she did. I have no idea. Uh, Meek says, per day, it all depends on your profile. Like, what do you have on that profile that is going to determine whether or not how many surveys and how many studies they will send you? Mamie said, this is from side research. The only drawback with prolific is the surveyors have within 21 days to review your surveys and pay you. Uh, some pay you faster than others. Thank you, Mamie, for that information. That's good to know because we didn't know that. Magritte says she liked and shared. So if you have not liked and shared my video, please do so. Somebody out there is looking for these side gigs and side hustles, and you just never know who you might be blessing with this good information. Java says, hello, how are you, Nanya? Deirdre says, hello, everyone. <laughs> Me says, shh, Brandon might hear y'all. <laughs> um, she says, let me log on to Brandon now before they serve me an eviction. Girl, you so funny. <laughs> Not an eviction. Mamie says, at least we're prolific. You always have money coming every day. Then see if you work branded and other eggs to your PayPal will jump every day. So think about that. If Mix is making, let's just say she gets the $40, which Mix is a hustler. So I'm pretty sure she's going to hit that 40 If she makes 40 from prolific and then another $30 from branded, that's $70 a day. So just think about that, ladies and gentlemen. What if she did that for the next 30 days? Look how much money that is. $70 a day for 30 days. It's $2,100 a month. Off of side hustle, off of survey site. It can be done, ladies and gentlemen. We got people here that do it all the time. Meeks was hitting $1,200 off of Fancy Hands. This is a work from home company. $1,200 a month off this company, y'all. Oh, y'all still sleep? Y'all still think people don't make money from these side hustles? Yes, they do. And they are here and they are in the chat. It's not me. I don't, I don't come on here. I have no reason to lie and make stuff up because some people feel that way, but and that's fine. I can take the, the backlash and all of that because I'm not even worried about that. But Mix is here. The company that she works for, this started as a side hustle for her. And she has worked her way up to a supervisor slash mentor. So if y'all want to check out Fancy Hands, the link is in the chat. She was hitting $1,200 a month. And then this other site, which is called Chat Desk. Now, this one does have a wait list. And with this one, Meeks was hitting, I think she started out hitting 60 a day from this one. And then it increased to 120 a day. So, again... I don't care what you say about me. If you talk, say whatever. Say you don't believe it. Say this, say that, and the other. I'm not the one in the comments typing this. Again, I don't know Meeks from a can of paint. Tan does not know Meeks from a can of paint. We're not paying her to come in here and say, oh, I work for this company. I work for that company. I work for that company. I work for this company. And this company paid me this. And this company paid me that. No, that's not how this works. Again, I don't know anybody here. We're not paying anybody here to come on these streams and say that they made this type of money, that type of money. What am I going to benefit from y'all going and signing up from branded surveys all the way to prolific, to fancy hands, to uh, user testing or you test? Nothing. So I'm here to help you guys make money. Uh. <laughs> Mamie says Meeks branded know you coming home. <laughs> Java says Felicia, how are you? Nanya says I have to be consistent and set hours like King of Branded. Yes. Uh Style Six says, okay, so the more consistent, the better surveys you'll be offered. That makes sense. Felicia says she did um 
WG schedule and she hit $25. So hmm, let that sink in. Me says, I did not start out getting those kind of studies, though. I started off getting the 16 cents and the 30 cent ones. I still get those, but more of the bigger pain ones now. So that's what she said, y'all. The king is here. The king of branded surveys has stepped in the building. Hey, WG. Uh, Felicia says she's doing good, Jarvis. Meek says, uh, it made me, yes, got to make sure we don't forget where we coming from, Brandy. <laughs> she says, hi, WG. T-Lux says, let's get the two chicks to 110,000. Please like and share. Like and share the video, ladies and gentlemen. I am dropping links in the chat. Uh, hey, Miss Ma. She says, hey, y'all working. So just watching and checking out the links. Okay. Well, welcome to the live stream. Stop six says gig spot has a lot of $10 mystery shop calls for December. I posted that one in the group today. They on fire. So if you have a thousand dollar Samsung phone and you got a $1,400 iPhone, ladies and gentlemen, is that phone going to make you some money? Mine going to make me some money, but is your phone going to make you some money? Got to get your return on investment. And $10 a pop, I mean, you could make five phone calls and it's $50 in a day. And think about this. If you do that for three days straight, you done made $150. Did you have to go anywhere to make that $150? Mm -mm. No. Nope. You didn't. But that $1,400 iPhone, you should be over there talking to that phone saying, you're going to make me some money gonna make me some money i gotta get my return on the investment because you know you're gonna want the new phone when it come out next year wg says back sitters i did three surveys <laughs> wg you so funny he said he did three surveys while on halftime of a basketball game tonight he says branded on the go <laughs> Woohoo! now you say that wg the king is here um stop six says should i become a white lady on my profiles no <laughs> why you say that stop six uh t Lux says okay thank you yeah i'll ask her tomorrow t Lux. um wg says my hours today now this is what he did today ladies and gentlemen morning one hour afternoon three hours this evening i did four hours plus some branded apps on the go in between. WG, how much you got now? Today is Tuesday. Nanya is clapping for you, Jarvis. WG says congrats. Stephanie says congrats. Uh, Nanya is laughing at you, Mix Adorable. <laughs> Uh-oh, the queen of mystery shop is in the building hi queen cynthia she says hi two chicks and two chicks fam hey sharita she says hi everyone you need to have a whole family on your profile even if you don't have a whole family so sharita is dropping a tip for y'all um queen mamie says no lie she says, sometimes when you say that you are from the Two Chicks channel, the jobs will favor you. That's a blessing, girl. It's a blessing from the Lord. She says, we localize, shift off, and tell us they respect this channel, and that's facts. And, and I'm going to say this, since Queen Mamie is up here front and center, she has shown me payment, and I well, yeah, she showed me payment proof, but she's also shown me an email that she got from one of the companies. I'm not gonna say the company's name, but one of the companies on this list, and the company actually held the position for her. And was it two years, maybe, or was it a year? They held the position. They emailed her back and was like, "Hey, are you still interested in this position?" So that's that favor of God, girl. Thank you, Queen Cynthia. She says, like and shared. Felicia says, congrats, Jarvis. 
She says, God is so good and she's so happy for you. Nanya says, hi, Deidre. Stephanie says, hey there, Miss Cynthia is here. Um, Cynthia's asking Jarvis, uh, she says, congrats. And then she says, have you done, um, I think it's Coronos yet. I know you had one that you were going to do. She says, have you done the mystery shop for Coronos? He says, no. He says, thanks. And no, I haven't. Cynthia says, hi, Stephanie. Nanya says, I'm good at Jarvis. Jarvis says, thank you, Mamie. Uh, oh, okay, Polo Lani. And that's what Polo Lani said. Hey, girl. Hey, whatever well, can make you a dollar a coin, we all for it. She says, I'm making money for my Amazon addiction. <laughs> Tan has that wafer addiction. I pop on them sites, Polo Lani, and start putting stuff in my cart. I did this yesterday on Nike for my little niece for Christmas. Girl, I'm over there just putting stuff in the cart. And then I got to the bottom and looked at that top. I was like, uh-uh. Hit the X at the top. Let me get off of here. I ain't buying nothing. <laughs> no. Uh, T. Lux says, two chicks keep spreading knowledge. We going to try, Queenie. Stephanie says, Miss Cynthia, considering doing a mystery shop gig this weekend, she says, have you done the phone ones? And is there a script for the call? So I'll put that up there, Stephanie, so Cynthia can see it. Felicia says, it makes you got to be in before the street lights come on. <laughs> Y'all yeah, so funny. Um, Cynthia says, Jarvis, keep us posted on how it goes. And if you like this, sometimes they make you jump through hoops, but the end results is worth it. Now that, that survey site, I mean, that mystery shop site, oh, wow. That is one. That's I think that's the highest paying one. That is a good one. That is a good one. Thank you, Cynthia, for sharing that with us. WG says it took him two months, and I did state this, WG, before you came on here. Two months to get uh, to start making the bigger surveys. He says I kept at it. So we were telling uh, stop six, be consistent taking the surveys you might get a lot of no's and i know a lot of people get discouraged because it's like oh i don't spent time taking the survey and they told me i don't qualify i don't qualify i don't qualify i keep hearing this over and over and over and over and over again but there are a lot of people here ladies and gentlemen if you are hearing those no's you got to keep pushing keep going keep taking the surveys you will get a yes most definitely uh, Nanya says, are you talking to the hater? <laughs> she says, if they are that ignorant, they don't need any explanations. They can get the bird. <laughs> Girl, yes, we was a, I was addressing the comments last night, and I was like, a lady had got mad about Brandy saying that, you know, people don't make that kind of money. And so I was just like, honey, I'm just over it. You think if that's what you think. That's on you. You can't make the money. Hey, that's on you. You won't come to the live streams. And if you do come, you just going to sit here, but you're not going to say nothing. But that's on you. Whatever you want to say, whatever you want to do, come in the comments. Give us the engagement. We'll take it. I'm not blocking nobody. Come on in there. Say what it. Get it off your chest. If you don't like me, you don't like Tan, you don't like the content, come in there and say that. I don't care. You just, all you're going to do is bring the, the subscribers and they're going to come for you and them comments just going to be going up and them views just going to be going up and that money is just going to be going up. So if you want to come over here and run up our bag, hey, by all means, do so. We're not going to block you. So come right on. Somebody else was in the comments. Uh, Nanya, I noticed when I got off of here last night and she was talking about branded surveys and how are these people making money and what kind of computer they have? They must have a supercomputer. Same thing. Lady, say whatever you want. Get it off your chest. If that's what you got to do, come over here and get it off your chest. Come in the comments and just keep running the views up. I don't care. I'm not blocking nobody. Block you for what? Now, yeah, first we will blocking people. But I'm like, everybody going to talk. Everybody got an opinion. Say what you want to say. Get it off your chest. Come on. We don't care. Um, is it Tikva? 
Hey, Tikva. She says, to the host and the chat. She says, hi, with the heart. Um, Felicia says, WG, yes, your majesty, I did today. <laughs> he was asking, did you try his schedule? So she says, yes. I'm sorry, WG, I didn't even see your question. I scrolled too fast. Meeks is laughing at you, Felicia. I had to go back up. Hi, Diamond. Felicia says, WG, and doing branded on my phone, too. He says, woohoo, Felicia, you have been doing good. Mamie says, King WG is here. Um, Nanya says, hi, Tikva. Cynthia says, hi, Stephanie, go for it. So this is what Cynthia said. The guidelines usually give you a list of what to say and give you the flexibility to say it in your own words to sound natural. But sometimes they want you to be specific. Um, Felicia wants you to know, WG, that she is at $25.13. And this is what WG said, ladies and gentlemen. He is at $238 as of today. And today is just Tuesday. So his goal, I think you said, WG, this week, 325 I think is what you said. Congratulations. You on fire. <laughs> Queen Mamie, she says, WG is on fire. WG says, keep going, Felicia. Nanya says, it's Sharita. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, WG says, Felicia, 25, 13 times 7 is $175.91. 90, he says, but if you need to kick it up, do extra hours. Not bad. Felicia, there's something to think about. Okay, so it was almost two years. So Mamie says, almost two years, they held the position open for me because of two chicks. Thank you, Mamie, for your testimony. And I did see the email, ladies and gentlemen, for you over there thinking, ah, she ain't telling the truth. Yeah, I saw the email from the company with the company's email address. So I knew it was from the company and that Queen Mamie was not making it up. Uh, hey, Rudy. Rudy says, been applying for those work from home jobs so I can do it at my day. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that, Rudy. <laughs> Sound like Kenny multitasking, doing two and three jobs at one time. Uh, Cynthia says, Stephanie, I've been doing phone calls a while and still get nervous. My tip is that she says, jot down the notes and practice in the mirror first. She says, do it. It gets better. The schedules will help with the schedulers. They will help with questions. Oh, thank you, Nanya. She says, okay, thank you, Miss Cynthia. I will let you guys know after I do it. I got to get my feet wet for the mystery shops. There are a lot. Let's put that up there. Because somebody's still back there on their fence sleep. Gig spot. Again, they're on fire. Queen Stephanie just said they have a lot of jobs available. And by job, she means the mystery shops, not a job job, but a mystery shops. Telephone and uh, in uh, on site. Okay, so this is what WG said. He said, King has, as of today, <laughs> 238. Goal is 325 this week. And if you missed the live stream last night, WG stated that he was able to pay all of his bills doing branded surveys. So everybody should be having that same goal in mind. I want to be like King WG and I want to get my bills paid. And if branded surveys can pay your bills, hey, I say go for it. Why not? It's better than probably working a regular job. And especially some of you are still waiting to hear back from these companies. And everybody knows my spiel. And his name is Bill. And Bill will be at my house on the 1st. I got four bills due on the 1st. About $1,200 for all four of them. So I know when he leave my house and he robbed me of my money, guess what? He on his way to your house next. So if you're still sitting over there, you're waiting to hear back from 
whoever you've applied for. Maybe you put in 10 applications last week. Maybe you put in 10 more the week before last. You haven't heard from anybody. What are you going to do? Bill is coming to your house. First of December will be here Friday again. You got some bills to pay. Somebody wants their money. Somebody is going to be knocking at your door, sending an envelope in the mail saying, hey, this bill is due. We need our $200. We need our $300. Get you some side hustles, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Yolanda. She says, hey, 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 share the video. Thank you, Queen. How are you, Yolanda? Hope all is well. Um. Felicia says, WG on overtime now, it branded money. WG says, Felicia, overtime is worth it. Hey, P. Cross, how are you? P. Cross says, hey, hey, everyone. Stephanie says, thanks again, Cynthia. Java says, I have bad knees, but with what Curion paid. <laughs> and that's funny, Java. <laughs> Java said he's gonna take his uh mystery shop money and go buy himself some new knees, y'all. <laughs> that is so funny. So, this is what Queen Cynthia says. She says, I just finished a report on a phone bank shop and on an oil change. I will be reimbursed for the oil change. So it will be basically it's free. That's a free oil change that Queen Cynthia got for doing a mystery shop with this company so the queen is here cynthia again is the queen of mystery shop we got a lot of kings and queens in here that do a lot of different side hustles so grab you some side hustles bill he on his way to your house this week probably gonna be he may make it to your house before he make it to mine he probably gonna be in your mailbox friday he's gonna want that money he's gonna want this twelve hundred dollars that i got to send out to pay these four bills so what are you gonna do ladies and gentlemen what you gonna do you got a phone over there the phone is costing you fourteen hundred dollars you're probably making payments on that phone get on gig spot they have telephone mystery shops you don't even have to leave the house somebody just said it gig spot is on fire right now they got a lot of shops for the month of december so y'all make sure you get a separate email, click on this link and go over to GigSpot and sign up tonight. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't put it, don't put it out. What they say, don't put off tomorrow what you can do right now or today. Xavier says, I'm taking random surveys, never giving up and God we trust. <laughs> okay, Xavier. Um P. Cross says, I downloaded the GigSpot app. So where are you stuck at? P. Cross. <laughs> and Xavier says, go to sleep, haters. It is bedtime. <laughs> Sharice says, Nanya, I added a son and a husband. Laugh out loud. Mamie says, run it up, negative Nancy. Yep, run it up, honey. WG says, I got no supercomputer. Laugh out loud. That was funny to me, WG. What kind of computer they got? A supercomputer? I'm like, see, now, now I could have answered that real nasty, but I did. And I said, no, you just need to come on the stream. Because if you listen to the video, then you should have heard me say, if you don't know how to do it, if you don't know how to make the money, then you need to come on the live stream. Hey, I can only lead them to the water, WG and Queen Mamie. I, I can't make them drink it. <laughs> no, you say whatever. <laughs> I know it's right. <laughs> Felicia says, lady, I got a Chromebook. What, what, and do? <laughs> WG says, branded supercomputer, OMG. That is funny. Yes, I was laughing too. I mean, just say the. I mean, to me, it's the dumbest stuff. But I mean, hey, say what? Like I said, if you watching the video, I don't care. Hey, Nancy, because I'm pretty sure you out here. I don't care if you want to go in the comments right now and type away, girl. Type your life away. Put a paragraph in there, because all you gonna do is run up the views and run up the engagement, and then the subscribers they gonna come for you in the comments. And and guess what? I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna let them have you. <laughs> Me and Tash, you're going to be laughing. That's all. That's it. And that's all. Tikva says, haters don't hate. And that is so true. 
Naya says, I know it can be done. I just don't have the discipline, but I need to get it. <laughs> Isaiah says, get out of here, player haters. Uh-uh. They ain't going nowhere, Xavier. I ain't got to go nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Mamie says, we have crazy computers that glitch and smartphones that don't cost much. We make it work somehow. Not AI, not bots. <laughs> The <sighs> Jesus testimony. I did get ejected on one survey today, but he typed it in capital letters. I just kept at it and looked past that ejection <laughs> or rejection. <laughs> hey, Queen, on we? She says, Hi, Carl. She says, Hi, Queen, Carl, and everyone in the chat. Uh, now, this is Cynthia's answering your question, P. Cross. She says, for gig spot after you get the app, go in and complete your profile. Then go to the company section and sign up for each individual company. And then you will see the available jobs. And I hope that helps, P. Cross. Let us know in the chat if you do it tonight and you still have issues. Um, hey, Amber. So WG is talking about branded surveys, Amber. And if you want to sign up, I would say get a separate email. The link is in the chat. And if you have any more questions about branded, feel free to put it in the chat. Um, Polo was speaking to everybody. Hey, April. April says, hello, everyone. How are you guys doing tonight? Hey, Karima. Karima is queen of Survey Junkie. How are you, queen? She says, liked and shared. And hello from New Jersey. Mamie says, hey, Felicia, we make it work, queen. He crosses, thank you for the info, Cynthia. Oh, we says, wow, congrats, WG. <laughs> Nanya says, oh, shoot, I need an oil change bad. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, uh, Onwe says, NWG, you are welcome. He says, thanks, Onwe. Nanya says, Bill lives in my mailbox for free, okay? See, that's what I'm talking about. He, <laughs> if he come into my house, he most definitely come into y'all house. So if you still sitting on the fence and you still, I'm just going to sip on my water and you still think that these survey sites and our people can't make no money, ain't making no money, don't make no money. Everybody lying? <laughs> and I'm going to leave it right there. Think what you want. Again, I don't care. Hey, I'm Blessed Stone. How are you? Um, we says, question, please. Uh, do I need a recorder to do the ASMR videos or should I just record them with my phone? Some people say they record it from their phone. Um, we, I would just record it from the phone and then listen to see what it sounds like or have somebody else to listen and maybe give you some feedback before you upload it. Karima says she's on GigSpot right now. On we says it none, you laugh out loud. Yolanda says, family, you must remember what may work for one person. Come on, Yolanda. May not work for you. Do what works for you and keep hope alive. I like that. Uh, <laughs> uh <P> <laughs> P. Cross said it's gig walk and not gig spot. Girl, which one are you on? <laughs> that is fun tea. Now you says it's Sharita. I've been telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth on these surveys. Shoot. Now I know. <laughs> um, we says it's gum flapper Nancy here. No, she was in my comments on we when we got off the stream last night. She was under one of the videos and she was saying that, um, first of all, she said, how are people making $500 a week? And I'm like, I never said nobody was making five. Like, where you get that from, lady? I never said nobody was making $500 a week, first thing. But she act like she listened to the video. So I'm like, well, if you listen to the video, then you clearly said 
that I mean, you could clearly hear that I said, come to the live stream if you don't know how to make the money. And she said that uh, y'all must have some super computers. Y'all computers got some superpowers or something. Stephanie says, hey, Cynthia, what did you have to report back when you did the oil change? She says, uh, did you have to take pictures? Oh, you didn't sign up for gigs? Okay. Hey, D. Me, she says, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> go run your blood pressure up somewhere else. We all about the money. She says, I'll be on <laughs> tomorrow and work again. <laughs> Laugh out loud. I'm sorry to hear that, Karima. Karima says she's dealing with the death in her family. Her aunt who passed Tuesday and the other one passed today. Oh, no. Sorry to hear that, Karima. We will most definitely keep you in our prayers, Queen. And condolences to you. Uh, I'm blessed on. She says, doing good. That's good. Sharita says, my condolences to you. Uh, Karimi says, I'm not okay, y'all, but I'm trying to get this money for the funerals, my bills, and a refrigerator. Well, we are going to pray for you, Karima. Oh, we says, hey, Karima, oh, my prayers are with you. You're welcome, oh, we. And let me know, oh, we, um, if it sounded okay, because I may have to record mine from my phone, too. Stephanie says, condolences, Miss Karima, on your loss. Karima says, amen, at Yolanda. Nanya says, hey, Karima, oh, I'm sorry for your losses. She says, thanks, everyone. <laughs> Nanya, says, <laughs> Nanya says, indeed, she says, coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> and if you guys have any good news you want to share, maybe you started doing branded surveys. Maybe you took our advice and you started doing branded surveys. We want to know. We're nosy. We want to hear your good news. If you got an offer like um, Jarvis, he has an interview Friday. If you have an interview like Jarvis, put it in the chat so that we can celebrate you. Um, Cynthia says, my condolences to you and your family, Karima. Hi, Gloria. She says, hello. Sorry for that. Praying hands can help me find an online job for an older person. Almost going on 70 years. That's a blessing. Queen Gloria, what type of work from home job are you looking for? Put it, let us know in the chat. Felicia says that Karima, love and blessings to you. So sorry for your loss. We come together in prayer for you and you are in our hearts and prayers. Oh, that's sweet. Queen Mamie says that Karima, praying for you and your family. Uh-oh, d Mish says, uh, I've got on responding. Okay. Inbox and waiting on texting factory. Go ahead, girl. Uh, hey, Invisible. Invisible says, I've been doing field agent. Great. Okay, Gloria, I got you covered, queen. Give me one second. I got a list of beginner friendly companies and these pretty much you can work when you want now they are some of them are state specific so my suggestion with that would be to read the job description and see if they hire in your state and this will save you time from filling out the application just in case they don't hire in your area but i'll put a link here in the chat and there are 20 companies on this list just go through each company and whichever one you want to start with or apply to, feel free. And if you got any questions, we will be live on here tomorrow night as well. Robin says, at Karima, my condolences to you and your family. Gloria says, thank you. You're welcome, Queen. And congratulations to D and also to Invisible. You're welcome, Miss Gloria. Let me go find these links, ladies and gentlemen, in case anybody wants to do field agent. <laughs> 
Tan used to do this one back in the day. And I want to say she made like four to six hundred dollars. She didn't do a whole lot of shops for them, but she did a few. She used to do the end caps for field agent. So if anybody is interested in field agent, this is an app. And they do have all types of different uh, projects listed. And the link is in the chat. P. Cross says, I reapplied for AME and chat. I used to work for them before they were shut down. Fingers crossed for a response. So P. Cross, the thing with them is it is going to come from a young lady and it's only going to say her first name. So you may have gotten the email because I almost deleted mine. I thought it was a spam. And I just happened. I said, well, I'm going to click on it. It just looked weird. So when I clicked on it, it was admin chat. So look for a lady's first name only. It won't say admin chat. And I think that's what throws a lot of people off. They probably have the email, but don't know it because it's not going to say admin chat. It's only going to say a first name. Uh, we said she's never she never listens to your videos from the beginning to end. <laughs> she only hears what her mind tells her, and she will run with that laugh out loud. <laughs> you're right, are we? You're right. I think a lot of people come over here and they don't hear what they need to hear. They hear what they want to hear, and then you want to come in the comments, and then you want to start complaining. Complain? I don't care. Cynthia says it's definitely it was some questions and two narratives one picture required easy to take undercover I'm gonna put it up she says because I did it when I pulled up in my truck she says all mystery shots requires the reports that's how you get paid uh, Felicia is asking WG she says how was the game uh, Queen Gloria says my granddaughter told me about you ladies and have been faithfully watching your videos. Okay, she says, thank you sisters for what all you do for us and putting your time to help us out. Very grateful for your channel. Ah, thank you, Queen Glory. I appreciate that. And tell your granddaughter, thank you from the two chicks. Um, you know what, Only I was looking at some microphones earlier today and I got you covered, girl. Yes, ma'am. I figured out what microphone they use for the video. So I'm going to send you, I'm going to put a link here in the chat. Uh, You're welcome, on we And keep me posted about that. Gloria says, yes, ma'am, you are welcome. Stephanie says, okay, Cynthia, sounds simple enough. I will practice before I do it like you said. And we says, okay, thanks. Um, Mamie says, time books, they pay out, goes in on Tuesdays. She says, they automatically pay you after time goes and she says, good night, family. Going to work a little bit before midnight. Well, thank you, Queen Mamie. And thank you for stopping by and sharing your knowledge. As always, hope to catch you on the next one. And if y'all missed time books, that is what uh, Queen Mamie is talking about. I did a video on them last week. And Queen Mamie says she made $30 off the site today. So y'all be sure. The link is in the chat. Be sure to check them out. Uh, Cynthia says, I can't say what companies I did the shops for. Uh, Felicia says, maybe we need to lead those haters in prayer and deliver them to come back to a right mind. And then apply, apply, apply. Then they'll be testifying in the chat. We can't put that. <laughs> That is so funny, Felicia. 
Um, she says, good night, Mamie. Love and blessings declaring Psalms 91 over you and your family. Nanya says, good night, Queen Mamie. <laughs> Pete Grouse says, thanks for the info, Carl. I'll be on the lookout. Yep, because I almost missed it, Pete Cross. I promise I did. I was like, it's a weird looking email. It's probably spam. I'm going to delete it. Then when I, I said, no, I might need to click on it. So I went on and clicked on it. And sure enough, that's who it was. So, yep, if you see a weird looking email, more than likely it's probably them. Um, hey Audra, Audra says, Thank you for this awesome channel. You're welcome. Nanya says, And Felicia, true. Cynthia says, But here are some worth looking at. So she got a list of them for you guys. So if you don't have if you don't know how to do the mystery shop, she got questions. Queen Cynthia, she is in the building. She says, but here are some worth looking at Ipsos, Shop Metrics side, and Sassy side, IntelliShop, Confero, RBG, Reality Based Group, I Secret Shop, Second to None are some that I use most often among others. I signed up Cynthia for Second to None, I want to say like two years ago, maybe three now. I think it was 2020. And they had a lot of shops available in my area. And the payout was, I saw a song for like 25 easy shops, donut shops, where I had to go to the donut place through the drive through They told me to act, order three things. And they gave me a list of the things that they wanted me to order. I could order, pick from the list, three items. And then they would reimburse me and the shop paid 25 Yep. <laughs> no, he says, hola, cannoli. Um, I think my cousin did one for a smoke shop, and I think that one paid either 35 I think it paid 35 and then they gave her like a $10 bonus, so she ended up getting like 45 And all she had to do was go in the smoke shop, ask some questions about a product. That was it. Didn't have to purchase anything with that one. P. Cross says, I was with Best Mark and didn't get paid for a shop. Had to <laughs> X them out. Oh. Did they tell you why, P. Cross? Cynthia says, in some areas, Movie Measure will have some shops during the opening of Beyonce. Oh. And I think we do have Movie Measures on the blog. Let me see. This is a good one, ladies and gentlemen, where you can get paid to go to the movies. So for all you movie lovers out there, y'all check out this particular uh, company. It is called Movie Measures. Now, Cynthia, she did put the name in the chat. I think we got that one. I'm not sure. Well, at least I thought we had it. I don't see it on here, so I guess we ain't got it. I guess Tanya forgot to put that one on here. <laughs> uh, hola. <laughs> he was laughing at me. Uh, Cynthia says, Best Mark is one of the best ones. She says, did you contact support? Did you follow the guidelines? Because they will reject your report. Yeah, a lot of them will if their report is not filled out correctly. And they won't pay you. Now, that has never happened to me before, but I have heard others say they did not fill out the report correctly and they did not get paid. So that is very important when it comes to the mystery shops. 
You got to fill out the report and it has to be done the correct way. Oh, <laughs> you sure did. I don't know why I read that as Ola. <laughs> um, P. Cross says, they gave me some kind of textbook response. I learned my lesson, laugh out loud. Oh, wow. Well, sorry that happened to you, P. Cross, but there are so many other companies out there. I would just say pick somebody else. Try um, Gig Spot. Try Market Force. Try Ellis if you have not tried any of these before. Ellis is a good one. We got a lot of people here that make money from Ellis. This is the apartment shop, mystery shop company. Um, I'll put the link here in the chat. Oh, movie. Okay. Okay, Cynthia. She says, I think I made a mistake on typing no S at the end. It's movie measure. Thank you. Nanya, you laughing at me. <laughs> Cynthia says, I have had some shops rejected before. It was a learning experience. Yeah, I can imagine. You do all the work and then they'd be like, nope, we're not going to accept it. So, yeah, there will be most definitely a learning experience for sure. I didn't see Queen Natalie here. I know somebody was asking about Respawn. Does she work um, all day? I don't think so. But I could be wrong because I know she does do some of the other side hustles. Uh, Cynthia says, I have even played my case with the mystery shop companies in the past and she won. Oh, wow. That's good to know, Cynthia. You can plead your case. And they may go ahead on and, you know, pay you. Good. So if anybody here has any good news, we are nosy. We want to know. We want to hear about it. If you started a side hustle, maybe you started branded surveys. Maybe you started Survey Junkie. Maybe you got a job offer or maybe you're like King Jarvis here and you got an interview coming up this week or next week. Put it in the chat so that we can celebrate you. We want to hear about it. So put it in the chat and then we're going to go ahead on, I guess, and get to these side hustles. Anybody has any more questions, comments? Get it off your chest. That's what we're here for. Get it off your chest. Say whatever you want to say. Come on in the comments. We ready. You test. This is another side hustle. I don't know if. I think Mamie is doing this one too. I know she's doing user interviews. Um, one of our subscribers here made a lot of money off of user interviews and some of the other side hustles. I know user interviews was one. D Scout was the other one. And the last one was product report card. So y'all check out these three. Uh, P. Cross says, it's imperative that you thoroughly read the instructions on those shops. Yes. That is so true, P. Cross. Because if you make a mistake, they may be like, uh-uh, we're not going to pay. <laughs> Cindy, you're so funny. It's about saying it with your chest in my Kevin Hart voice. Not with your chest. <laughs> Girl, you so funny. That is too fun. T. P. Cross says, Cynthia, that's good that you were able to win your case. Yep, that is good. <laughs> uh, Felicia is laughing at you, Cynthia. <laughs> That is funny though. She said in her Kevin Hart voice. It 
is funny. So let's get to these side hustles tonight. So this one, Tan came across this one uh, for you guys. We saw it. I said, you know what? That might not be no bad side hustle where you can get paid for your space, get paid to rent out your space. So I'm going to drop the link here in the chat. Cynthia says, so true, P-Cross, and bug the schedulers if you don't understand or if you have questions. And they don't mind helping. That, now, that is true. They don't. They don't mind helping at all. So if you are watching the video, make sure you give me a like. It's free 99 and it don't cost you nothing. Make sure you share the video also. We are be, we are going to do another um, giveaway on the channel once we hit 110,000 subscribers. Yeah, make sure y'all hit the like button and share the video. So the link is in the chat. Let's start with the first company. This is um, Neighbor. And neighbor says, this is the no hustle side hustle. The easiest way to make money from your home by storing vehicles and belongings. So at the bottom of this one, you would click where it says become a host. Uh, if you have a extra space in your garage, in your driveway, parking lot, unpaved lot then you can rent out this space and make some money it says that you will list your spaces tell us about your spaces and how much you would like to earn and then you will respond to the renters review renter request including what they want to store and when and approve them schedule a move in you will schedule a move in with the time with your renter and start getting paid so this is an easy side hustle, ladies and gentlemen. If you have extra space, maybe you have like a two-car or a three-car garage, and maybe you only have one vehicle, you could rent out the space in your garage to someone that may be in town for a month or someone that's moving out of town, but maybe they need to store their car. So think about these. Peer space is another one. Now, I think with Peer Space, I know one of these, uh, well, let's see. Let's browse. So, Peer Space, I think you can rent out, hmm, you can rent out your classroom. Your room, I see conference room, a flex space, a studio, a gym, a lounge, a storefront. They got just all types of things on here that you could rent out. And of course, you would set your own prices. So I see this here says $55 an hour just to rent out a conference room. So just think about that. What if they get four in a day? That's what, $220 a day. I see another one charging $75 an hour. They may get two of these in one day. That's $150 in a day. Just to rent out a room, a space. Um, he cross says definitely get in good with the schedules. Great info, Cynthia. Um, hey, Carl. She says, hi, everyone. Love you both in your wonderful community. Question is Windows Defender considered antivirus for Windows or do I need something else? Ideas on a free one? I have no idea, Carl. <laughs> I don't know because I'm not the tech person. If y'all can help Queen Carol out, I'll, I'll put that up. Nanya says, hi, Carol. Felicia says, give away at 110000 Yep. Now, we could do before 110, Felicia, but I know that is the target. WG says, I stepped away, but I'm back now. I heard a rumor you're doing an after dark until sunlight. <laughs> 
I'll be on her sleep, WG. My head gonna be on the keyboard. <laughs> um, me says, are all the jobs on the websites 1099 a mixture? Some are W-2 and some are 1099. Really just whatever we find, Meeks, we'll just put it on there, whether it's a W-2 or 1099, because we got a lot of people here that like 1099s, but we also got people here that don't like 1099. So we try to put a mixture on the blogs. Uh, Cynthia says her son was considering renting his pool area. She says, but I don't know why he did not follow through. See? Some good money, Cynthia. He may want to reconsider. Uh, Chris says, so I took your advice and I'm attending the live. Is the branded king here? Yep, in the building. I got questions. Laugh out loud. He says, hey, Chris, I'm right here. Nice to see you. Ask them questions. Um, Nanya says, ABG has a free version. Okay, so let's put that up. Hey, Carol, I have Windows Defender. Um, don't think it matters with them, but if you have pop-up blockers turned on, you can give specific sites permission. Uh, Cynthia says, Nanya, that's a tan question. <laughs> yep, she the tech queen. <laughs> See, that's why I don't even attempt or try to answer because I might give you the wrong information. Um, hi, Takira. She says, hi, I'm new here. Just finding out about you guys, how and where do I get started? I'm five months pregnant and looking to start uh, working from home job ASAP. Um, Takira, what type of job are you looking for? I do have a list of beginner friendly companies and these companies you can pretty much, you know, work whenever you want, set your own schedule. Some of them you will have to do an interview and some you will not. So I'll put the link here in the chat. And I want to say, let me see. I think all of them are like some type of customer service job. Uh, LB says, Carol, I got hired. All right, girl. It found ever formerly known as Sightail. And I do remember Sightail from back in the day. She says, as a customer service rep for U.S. Bank, they didn't offer the remote position. They asked me to do online. I said, no, because I figured I can transfer. Oh, wow. No. I wonder why would they not offer, and that is a work from home company. Why would they not offer you the remote position? Yeah. That's terrible. Me says, okay, my mother-in-law wants some part-time W-2 jobs to apply for, so I need to go through and see what's listed. Okay, Meeks. Cynthia says, welcome to Kira. You can find a numerous of opportunities here. Chris says, at WG, um, how do I get in on a survey? It seems like everyone is filled so quickly. Uh, LB says, I tagged you in the group. I put my offer letter in the chat. Do you know I did the interview over the phone, got hired and went and did my drill test and ran my background in one day. Oh, wow. Nanya says, Tan is the GOAT. Yes, yeah, she is. Java says, congrats, LB. WG says, hey, Chris, how long uh, you have been doing branded? He says, how many surveys are you doing? Do you keep going even if you're knocked out and do another one nanya is clapping lb Cynthia says way to go lb uh felicia says congrats lb chris says just got on did till there weren't any left did get in on two hey beyond words she says greetings everyone liked and shared thank you wg says for <laughs> He says, for the back sitters, here is my hours. Morning, one. Afternoon, three. Evening, four. LB says, okay, I had to fix it. I did the onboarding, the background all today for found ever formerly known as Sitel. Okay, well, congratulations, LB. That is good. Good news. Nanya says, hi, beyond words. Sharita says, congrats, LB. WG says, it, Chris, it took me two months to go where I am. 
I do the time and I put the effort in. So it's all about time and effort, um, Chris. You won't start out making what WG makes. You got to put in some time. You got to be consistent with these survey sites. And you will hear a lot of no's and a lot of you don't qualify before you get to the yeses, but you just have to keep going through the surveys. Takira says, thank you. I didn't know that it was so many other options other than customer service. Oh, no, ma'am. A lot of options, Takira. If you want to look on our non-phone blog, we do post a lot of non-phone jobs as well. And this just means that it could be email, it could be chat, it could be texting, it could be um, some type of what they call Slack where you're chatting to somebody in like a chat group. So there are all types of work from home jobs available. And it is nonphoneworkathome.com. Um, Chris says, WG, how much time are you putting in? So did you see his time, WG? I mean, Chris, beyond where it says hi. Uh, WG says, hey, Chris, if you just started, you got to put in time. When I first started, I got lots of no's. He says, um, also update your profile every two days. Uh, Cynthia says to Kira, tell Carol what you are looking for or interested in. She could put it in, put up the links for you to start. Uh, Chris says, update what exactly about the profile? Nanya says that Cynthia, I'm self-taught, teach savvy or tech savvy and try to help if I can. But yes, tan is the goal. But thank you, Nanya. Because you probably right about that, what you said. Cause I don't, I, I think I got Windows Defender on my all in one. It's not on this laptop, but I think it's on the all in one. And you're right, I think you can use like any type of uh antivirus and it won't like mess with it or knock it out or anything like that. LB says, Felicia, thank you. I'm trying to volunteer to help Carol and Tan, whatever they need. I'm grateful for them in my life. I keep crying. Oh, thank you, LB. You're gonna make us cry, girl. Hey, Ashley. She says, Hey, y'all. Um, WG says, Hey, Chris, I posted my hours, but here they are again. Um, let's see. He says, Chris, put in even if you don't have a family or kids, it will give you more surveys that way. Chris says, okay, so you putting in eight hours, even if the surveys are exhausted. Uh, LB says, Cynthia, thank you with the heart. Cynthia says, hats off to you, Nanya, because it takes me a minute to get the tech. I always make my children do stuff for me. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Yeah, he has a schedule, Chris, if you were able to see his schedule, I put it back up on the screen. So that's his schedule that he follows for branded surveys. But think about it, Chris. Um, WG is hitting $300 plus a week. And then he's able to pay all of his bills off of one company. So that's something to think about when others are, you know, are having like issues and trying to figure out how to make some money from home. WG is making the money and he has figured it out. He has mastered this particular website. We have other queens here. Meeks is here. She's the queen of branded surveys. She makes a lot of money off of branded as well. And there are some others here. Felicia is here. She does branded surveys. A lot of our subscribers here do branded surveys and they actually make money from branded surveys. Now, did they start out making money? No, mm -mm. they did not. But if you put in a little time be consistent, dedicated. You can get to where WG is. Lisa says, thank you, WG. I'm learning so much. Onwe says, I think WG, the king, schedule needs to be pinned so that everyone will see it, including the back sitters, Nancy and company. <laughs> Laugh out loud. <laughs> You're right, Onwe. 
Uh, Naya says, thank you. WG says, hey, Chris, again, it took me two months to get there. I put in lots more time than eight hours because I put it on my phone, too. He says, you just started. You won't make it right away. But again, time, dedication, Chris, and effort. If you really want to make some money out these survey sites, you got to work them. If you work them, then they will most definitely work for you. WG says it on we <laughs> oh laugh out loud, right? <laughs> she says, Yeah, laugh out loud. Nanya says it's Cynthia, thank you. WG says, My first two months I made 50 to 75 a week, which is not bad at all. Starting out 50 and 75, 50 to 75 a week can pay a cell phone bill. It can pay a light bill. You add it all up, it can put some groceries in your refrigerator. So just think about that, ladies and gentlemen. No. You are not going to get rich off of these survey sites. Yes, you will have to put in some time, some effort, some dedication. Be consistent. Consistency is the key to a lot of these. Meeks came on here. She started doing um, fancy hands. Did she start out making $1,200? No, but she was consistent. She studied. She mastered the site, and then she ended up making $1,200. Um, this counts is they do have other companies that will let you rent out your space, not just Airbnb anymore. Mm -mm. And she says, I have made a few dollars on friendly. They couldn't figure, we could not figure that one out, Ashley. So who's on friendly? Are it is a friendly people? <laughs> Are they friendly? <laughs> um, and we says it now, yeah. She says laugh out loud, yeah. Helen says it. Ashley, how are you liking friendly? And Chris, if you are still here, Helen is the queen of prolific. She makes enough off this site to pay her car note. Meeks just started on prolific, and she's already hitting thirty thirty five dollars in a day. So again. You can make money off of the sites, but you got to be consistent. And also, it is going to depend on what you put on their profile. Everybody is not going to have all of the same surveys, the exact same surveys. No, because everybody's household is different. Some people have children. Some people don't. It depends on what you say on these profiles. And that's going to determine what surveys and what studies they are going to send you. So keep that in mind as well. Um, LB, she says, I think that Vegas is full for the at-home position because I have a friend. He just clocked out. He works for them at home. Oh, okay. He's over the car insurance and they just promoted him to do mortgage. Oh, well, congratulations to him. Felicia says, WG, that is right. I pay my cell phone, got groceries, Uber, gas money. It does pay to play. So just think about that. Let that sink in. Get you some side hustle. If one is not working, now we're not, we're not saying that branded is going to work for every single person that feels out for branded and yes you're going to make 300 dollars a week just like wg no that's not what we're saying we're saying that it is a side hustle and you can make 300 dollars just like wg if you put in the work if you are consistent consistently making um the effort putting forth the effort to get there and i would say just test the waters try a lot of them because all of them ain't going to work for everybody. And we know this. Try product report card. Try respondology. Try user testing. User lytics. Try um, humanetic. There's so many side hustles out here that we talk about on this channel. Try prolific. Maybe you can make it over there with the studies and with the surveys with this site. And if you are just coming in, make sure you like and share, like and share the video, ladies and gentlemen. We give away laptops on this channel and we are popping over here because we got some awesome subscribers and we have built a awesome community and they don't mind sharing tips and tricks and information on how they make money 
from home, from side hustles, from side gigs, and also from jobs as well. Three Play Media, they are on fire. So if you have not got that one, now they don't hire in every single state. That's the drawback with this company. But this is one that pays $30 an hour with no interview. And all you're doing is listening and repeating what you hear. You're not talking to anyone. You're basically listening to the speakers and whatever they say, you're repeating it for the closed caption. So that's another egg for you guys to get in your baskets. People are hearing back fast, real fast. Gig spot, they are on fire. Telephone mystery shop companies also on site. LB says, but I'm more grateful for you in town. I'm praying God sends a rainstorm of blessings. Ah, thank you, Queen. I received it. Thank you so much, LB. Ashley says, it's cool. It's just random people inboxing you wanting to talk. I have blocked. <laughs> she says, I have blocked a few people. So, Ashley, are you talking on the phone or are you just chatting like in the inbox, like exchanging messages? or texting let us know in the chat um the g says if felicia amen girl he says back sitters won't never get it he says you got any more questions chris helen says ashley oh okay thanks i think i have an account with them but never worked it she says do you have to use a profile picture that shows your face with them uh, Chris says, no, nah, not right now, but how can I contact you if I have future questions at WG? Um, Cynthia says, is Helen here? She is. Or any on prolific, did they ask for your photo ID, such as your driver's license or passport? And Cynthia, I can answer that. Yep, they did. <laughs> they did because it was somebody else in here asked the same question. I want to say Sunday. And yes, they did. Uh, Felicia says, I worked at WG, branded schedule, and I am now. She's at 2611. And this is for today, ladies and gentlemen. This is Felicia. She's doing WG schedule for branded. Ashley says, yeah, they make you use a gift type photo you can take on the spot. She says, it won't let you upload one. Okay. Uh, Cynthia says she is off the wait list. All right, girl. Congratulations, Cynthia. You're going to be like me, hitting $35, $40 a day. Me says she's trying to get grow hers to $40 a day. Um, hey, Jackie. She says, hello, Carl. I am a longtime subscriber. I did. Uh, a branded survey uh, got 105 points a few days ago. That's the most points I have earned. I keep going. She says, make that money. All right, queen. Keep going, Jackie. You're going to be like uh, Felicia, WG, Meeks Adorable. It's a lot of people on here that do branded surveys. Hey, I tell the mommy. She says, yes, Cynthia, they asked for my ID also. Felicia says the side hustles do add up across the board. She says, put those eggs in your baskets with um, piecing them all together. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. They do add up, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of kings and queens here that do these side hustles. And again, Queen Helen is here. She makes enough off of Prolific to pay her car note. Meeks Adorable says she's pushing for $40 a day. She's right around $30, $35 right now a day off of Prolific. They sit here and they do the surveys. They do the studies while they're watching the live streams. They are here making money. Also, Inbox Dollars. We had a couple of people here last night on the stream that made money off of Inbox Dollars. Somebody else here made $70 off of this website playing some games. So if you know you got a $1,400 iPhone, you got a $1,000 Android phone, you need to get your 
return on investment. And I'm going to leave it right there. Gig Spot, that's another telephone mystery shop. You don't have to leave the house. They are on fire. Somebody just said they got a whole bunch of shops for December available. Phone shops. You could be over there dialing away. And if the high price sale phone could be making you some money every time you and taking them them calls and doing those calls for gig spot. WG says, hey, Chris, get a hold of me here on the lives. Nanya says, it's Cynthia, yes, to the ID for prolific. She says, I'm going to have to say goodnight, Carl, and to the chat fam. Until next time, good night, Nanya. We will see you next time. Um, Miss Jones, because I may mess up your first name. Hey, girl. She says, I applied for prolific on Sunday and got off the waiting list Monday. <laughs> Congratulations. So again, to the people in the back, back there on that back row, like on the church pew, you way back there in the back, get prolific in your basket. They getting back to folks fast. That's a good one. Queen Helen is here. She makes enough to pay her car note. Uh, Dora, it is. And Queen Mamie, she was just here. She hit $30 off of time books today. She was here earlier on the site. But they also have, like, you can play the games, install apps, complete micro tasks, answer surveys, of course. And you can view uh, slideshows and also post on Facebook. So that one has, like, a variety of things that you can do to make money. I say, give it a go, Dora. What you got to lose, Queen? Uh-oh, Cynthia, she says, and I heard from you, Tess. I have to do the intro to testing, expanding my basket, looking for eggs to do on the days I don't want to go out to do the mystery shops. That's a good idea, Cynthia, and I will put you, Tess, in the chat, and congratulations, Queen. Congratulations. So Queen Cynthia has this one. It is called You Test. Get paid to test apps and websites. Hey, Chiquita. She says, hello. Uh, stop six says gig spot, baby. <laughs> hey, Miss Pris. Miss Pris says, I'm adding lots of time to my Google Calendar to stay on top of my branded surveys activity. <laughs> um. Felicia says, you will be surprised what you can make with these side hustles. Carol and Tan know what they're talking about. They've been doing this for quite a while now. They are the ghosts. Thank you, Queen Felicia. Always says, good night, Nanya. Cynthia says, thank you, Nanya, and good night. Felicia says, yes, let the congregation in the back say, boom, shakalaka. <laughs> um... Cynthia says, congratulations, Dion. I hope I said it right. Um, Chris says, been waiting for two weeks to hear back from respondent on some tasks. I don't know, Chris. Again, it's going to depend on what you put on that profile. I can't say. But while you waiting, check out gig spot. You can do the telephone mystery shops. You don't have to have like no good voice or no sexy voice. Just read whatever they want you to do. Just read it and make the call. Simple, easy. There's no interview. Try user interviews. That's one that Queen Mamie has done. And also, I think Tari had got one. That was, no, not Tari. It was Alice. She got one from them that was like paying $450 or $650, something like that. I think it was four fifty with a hundred and fifty dollar bonus, so six. I think six hundred. So try some of the other sites if you are waiting to hear back from one. Don't just wait, cause Bill is coming today, the twenty eighth. He coming to my house on the first, really on the thirtieth, cause the bill do on the first. Get you a gig spot. Get you a market for it. 
Try the apartment shops with tellers if you are into mystery shop. Try some of the task-based sites like a tellers or appin. Uh, we localize is a good one. Field agent is a good one. Gig walk is a good one. Play some of the games. You can make money by playing some of these games that we talk about. Somebody was sitting here the other night and made some money off of inbox dollars. And I put a link in the chat, 10 companies where you can get paid to play games. So check out these companies while you are waiting. Uh, Cynthia, did you search your email, girl, for respawn? Because on we, she had to search her email and she was like, oh my gosh, she had an email from them girl last year, but she still got the job though. She still got hired, which was good, which was a good thing. That was a blessing. Um, Leonica says, hello, Cynthia. Nanya says, okay, I'm gone. All right, uh, Nanya, have a great evening, a good night. Cynthia says, hi, Leonica and Leonica's little boss. <laughs> That's cute. Um, Miss John says, yes, you said my name correct. I thank you so much. I did apply for three play media too, and she is off the way. Who I can't say it loud enough for the folk in the back that think that three play media was not hiring. They was all in my comments under that video, just talking crazy. So see, three play media is hiring, ladies and gentlemen. If you saw that video, I'm pretty sure you probably was in them comments and probably read the comments where people were saying, No, they're not hiring. I applied and they told me they don't hire in my state. No, they are state specific. I did not know that they were state specific. But I think what it is, when they get enough people from a certain state, they will just cap it off. They'll close it and they'll say, okay, we're not hiring in your state anymore or right now. And you have to check back to see. So I think that's how it works because I've never known them to be state specific and they have been around for years. So again, Three Play Media, the link is in the chat. Polo London, you need the link for the lonely men. Okay, girl, I got it. Hang on one second. Polo London was asking for the link to text the lonely people. And if anybody else here wants to text the lonely people, there are six companies listed on the blog. So I'm going to put the link here. Um, stop six. She says, I cannot thank you guys enough. And y'all are so genuine. She says, two chicks is the only channel that just gives without trying to sell their cert girl. Say that for the people in the back, way back there. No, ma'am, we don't have any services to sell, <laughs> but I do see, and I, the people be over here saying that, you know, they join a Facebook group and People running up in their face and, oh, I can do your resume. Oh, I can do your assessment. Oh, I can do this. Oh, I can take your typing test. Oh, I can do your interview. I can do this. I can do that. No, we're not going to do that. Because mm. I just feel like if people are looking for a job, who really has money to pay for coaching and interview prepping and templates and all this other jibber jabber crap that y'all be trying to sell folks it's like just give folks the information you will get the blessing on the back end they already over here looking at your little whack videos i mean come on ladies it's like give the people something for free get just give it away give it away you making money they over here looking at your videos and they running your views up you making money so why can't you do it for free Everything has to be come with a price. Everything got to be a, a dollar, a quarter, a penny, a nickel. If people are looking for a job, they don't have money to give y'all. They don't have money for coaching. They don't have money for interview preparation. They don't have money for resume reviews. Give it away for free. I'm going to put that right there. But you write Stop 6, a lot of them do that. And I'm not knocking nobody's hustle, but it's like if people are coming to our channel... What I look like charging you? I could say, okay, well, I need $500 from everybody if I'm finna roll out all these work from home jobs. I got a list of them, but I need some money. Y'all got to pay me for them. It's crazy to me. It don't make sense to me. You can do other things to make money without charging your audience for whatever. 
Felicia says, hey, Chris, have you checked your spam to see if respondents sent you anything? Uh, Stop6 says, I always like and share every video. Thank you, Queen. Polo Lunny says, yes, please. The link is in the chat, Polo Lunny. Cynthia says, I checked everywhere. <laughs> But respond, daughter, just, she said, I think I'll try again and see what happens. So, Cynthia, how long ago was it? Was it recently or was it um a long time ago? Uh, Stop 6 says, God bless you. Thank you, Queen. I will receive that. Thank you so much. Felicia says, say that again, Carl, for those in the back. Yeah, me and Tan did not want to charge you guys for anything. The resumes. We were going to do the resumes and we started saying we we're going to do it. And then we was like, well, now, nah, because Tam was like, well, now nah, I don't want to charge people. I just want to teach people how to fish. And then that way they'll know to because if think about it like this. If you pay somebody to do your resume and it's for a customer service job, but let's just say that's just one resume. You may have paid 40, 50 dollars for it. Right. But then you see some other companies you want to apply for. You got to go back to that person. Had them to redo the resume. Now you got to pay another forty dollars, another fifty dollars, another sixty dollars, or whatever they're charging for the resume. Because again, it's all about the keywords and how you set the resume up. And that's all they're pretty much doing is giving you templates that are online for free. But they're gonna sit here and they're gonna charge you guys for those templates. Just give it to the people for free. That's what I say. If people can come over here and support us. And y'all come here, y'all watch the videos, y'all liking the videos, you sharing the videos. At what point do you say, well, I got to give back to these people? The people are why you guys have these channels. The people are why your views are up. The people are why you're making money off of YouTube. But what are you really giving the people? Anybody can come on here and read a job. My niece is 12 years old. She probably got a lot of intelligence, more so than grown folks. She can come on here and present y'all with a job. But that's all you can do is present folks with a job. And then behind that, here comes your courses. Here comes your templates. Here comes your resume, this, and your interview preparation. No, nah, I don't get it. I just, I don't get these folks. I really don't. I don't. Beyond Word says, amen, amen. Stop 6 says, that's the reason it feels like home in your chat. Thank you, Stop 6. We appreciate that. Autism Mama says, exactly. They be talking about giving away a free template while this channel giving away a whole laptop. Girl, and I ain't finna do that, Autism Mama. But they want you to come on there and they want you to watch their little weak videos and they want you to share. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. What we subscribing for? What we sharing for? You posting jobs, we posting jobs. But we giving a little bit more than what y'all giving. And I just hate to say it like that, but y'all really ain't giving nobody nothing. A job... Anybody can get some out of a job, but what are you really giving your audience? And I said that right there. Pretty sure they're probably over here looking in the chat. Hey, I'm talking about you. So what? <laughs> Leonica said, I didn't even know. I had fell asleep. Laugh out loud. I just woke back up. She says, you probably answered my question from earlier, Kurt, but, I <laughs> but she fell asleep. Bleach says, yes, because fish and bread feeds a whole lot of folks. She says, amen, Kurt, amen. Hey, Dee Dee. Uh, Felicia says, say that Audra, it made ministries. Uh, Style six says, Felicia, say that autism mom says, Woo, honey, I need a church fan, <laughs> not a church fan. <laughs> uh, Cynthia says, That's why I wouldn't charge for a list of the mystery shops. It's uh, that's what I'm saying, Cynthia, it's online and it's free. Free. They can't guarantee you no job. So why are you giving them $50 for a resume? You can go on five and get a resume for $5. But a lot of people don't know that because they spewing, oh, you know, with me, you're going to get this and you're going to get that. And I'm going to do it. How are you going to promise somebody a job because you're writing a resume? You can't promise nobody no job. Uh, she said, that's not cool. I see people with the same list of companies or lists and charging money. Yep. I move on from their channel. Yes, ma'am. Felicia says, this is where the blessings reside, where the blessings reside. Thank you, Queen. P. Cross says, respond. They are state specific. That's the drawback, P. Cross. They are state specific. Cynthia says, so true, Felicia. Miss Pris says, I refuse to pay for some resume templates. Girl, right. I saw somebody charging for ChatGPT. 
I kid you not. I kid. I, I, it, I saw somebody charging for keywords, and I'm like, lady, it's free. Why are you charging people for keywords? Are you serious? You probably don't even know nothing about work from home. A lot of these folks just got these work from home channels and they feel like, oh, well, they just reading and they just reading jobs off the screen. Yeah, some of some of them are reading jobs off the screen. But it's like, what kind of value am I going to, if I come over and listen to your video, what am I going to get out of it? What type of value am I going to get off of listening to your video? Anybody can come on here and read off a screen, read a script and say, oh, such and such hiring. We all say that. Uh, Target is hiring, ladies and gentlemen. They're paying $20 an hour. I'm saying it. And five other channels over here are saying the same thing. But at the same time, we do the live streams. Do y'all ever come on the live stream? I ain't going to never come on the live streams. I ain't going to do that. That's too much time. But at the same time, you want somebody to come over here Watch your little week video, share your week video, post your week video everywhere. And and then you come in with, oh, I got the courses. Oh, I got the interview preparation. Oh, I got this. I got this. I got that. I got that. I got that. It's other ways to make money as a side hustle instead of charging your subscribers. It's other ways. You could be on here doing the side hustles like your subscribers doing, but instead you want to charge them 60 and 70 and 80 and 90 and a hundred dollars for some week course that's probably put together for free. You got the information for free, but then you got a course over here for 200 dollars Lady, they looking for a job. How are they gonna give you 200 dollars for a course? Make it make sense. <laughs> So Cynthia says, I signed up for Respawn a few weeks ago. Autism Mama says, all oh, the ones telling folks these false dreams. Yep, all the time. Felicia says, they are probably the same people who buy the ladies' bath water. <laughs> Not buying the bath water. Cynthia says, yep, Google is free 99. And, and where they getting it from, Cynthia? Google. Googling it for free. You ain't going to tell nobody nothing that they can't find on the internet, on YouTube, over here on the Two Chicks channel for free. So, girl, bye. And again, I'm not knocking the side hustle. I'm just saying, make it make sense. If the people are coming over here, looking at your videos, watching your videos, sharing your videos, and then you still want money from them? <laughs> It, that just goes over my head. It is so beyond me. So beyond me. It is. Dita says, hello, Carolyn, everyone. Thank you for your dedication. And I like to share. Thank you, sister. LB says, I'm doing my onboarding laughing. <laughs> Watching you. But thank you, LB. <laughs> Kiki, hi, Kiki. She says, we know who you're talking about. She really don't have to charge because she's a homemaker. <laughs> Girl, it's all of them. It ain't just no one. I done seen several Kiki that's charging for the interview, the um, the resumes, the templates. I mean, it's like, ugh, just sick of y'all. Didi says, I may go elite today on branded. All right, girl. Woohoo. $25 cash money. <laughs> she says, an off the wait list with prolific. She says, best mark has the telephone call and gigs. It's uh, it's soon job. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Congratulations to you, Queen DB. Uh, Style 6 says, let me do your resume. You're definitely going to get the job and only charging a small percentage of your first quarter of wages. See, we don't charge Stop 6. We don't do that. We don't charge because people are trying to get a job. So what do we look like charging people for a resume? They're here because they want information. The information on our channel it will always be free. We will not be doing resumes because Tan does the resumes on live stream. She has done this several times using ChatGPT. And that's all basically other people doing using ChatGPT and say, here you go, $60. Leonica says, how are you doing, Cynthia? Felicia says, right, and they can't pay their own bills to me. That's like talking, taking advantage of those who are trying to stay. That's what I'm saying. 
So I just don't understand that you want people to do this and do this and do that. But it's like, in the end, what are you really giving the people? Anybody can give them a job. I do that every day, all day. So what are you really giving them? No substance, none, no content, just a job. But in the end, I still want y'all to watch my video, support me, like the channel, subscribe, share the video, and buy this course that's $200. That's $60 for the resume. That's uh, $25 for the interview preparation. I still want all of that. So I just don't get it. I, I really don't because there's other ways. Because if you're a true hustler, then you know you don't have to charge your subscribers for the money because there's so many other ways that you could be making money from home but if you ain't no true hustler then that's where the greed comes into play and it's like well now because they over here so i got to capitalize off of them i need them well i don't know about all that stop six says dd go ahead baby cynthia says leonica i'm fairly <laughs> middling and can't complain she says in her is it ai oh ai school voice <laughs> I totally understand. Felicia says, show you right in her very white voice. <laughs> uh, I was looking. That's so funny you say that, Felicia. I was looking at an interview from him like way, way, way back in the day. And it was so crazy because the interview, it was surrounded by the topic was technology. And he was saying in the near future, technology is going to replace jobs. Is going to replace, you know, um, people in general. And I was like, wow. And he said that years ago. And I said, wow, how did he know to say that? Or how did he even think to say that technology would replace a lot of stuff? But he was so right. And this was years ago, like back in the 70s. Cynthia says, way to go, TT. Stop six says, this is the way we're supposed to treat each other, really help each other, fake help. Yep. You right, stop six. Because the thing is, for us, when we first started doing work from home, we were telling everybody free. Nobody, we was not charging anybody. So when we came up with the idea to do the YouTube channel, and I wanted to come out of us being on the live stream, I didn't want to do like everybody else was doing with just reading the job, reading the job, reading the job. I said, Tan, I think we got a little bit more to offer the people because we have actually worked from home. A lot of these people, I just don't believe y'all ever work from home. I feel like this is a hustle for y'all. Y'all just on here presenting these jobs and don't get me wrong. Yeah, if it's a side hustle, that's, that's your thing, that's your thing. I'm not knocking it, but I'm just saying, I felt like we had a little bit more to offer the people because we actually really did work from home for years doing all kind of stuff tech support i even tried to you know try my hand on tech support i wasn't good at it because this tan thing texting customer service all types of customer service jobs post i used to post jobs for a two companies back back then when we first started the companies are no longer in business now but i did that for two companies so we had tried a lot of different things to make money from home a lot of different ways a lot of different companies so with that being said we just wanted to come on here and share the knowledge to the people to the world or whoever is watching whoever is subscribed whoever is following the channel that is what we said at the very beginning and that we were not going to charge anybody for anything yeah we have an ebook but do you guys really see us pushing the ebook it's under the videos. If you want to purchase the ebook, hey, purchase it. But we're not saying, oh, get my ebook, get my oh, by the way, get my ebook. And, and if it is gonna have a price tag on it, make it to where it's affordable for the people. If somebody's coming to you looking on a, a, a looking for a way to make money, how can they afford a course that you charge in $197 for? Make that make sense. That just that just logically, it does not make any sense to me. It just doesn't. And that's what a lot of these YouTubers do. They push people to those opportunities. And I just, I don't understand it to save my life. I really don't. And then most of the opportunities, garbage. Stop Six says, um, they saw some of your videos, copy child, and boom, never work from home a day 
And I believe it's top six because I, I see the titles on the videos and I know those are my words. And, and yeah, you're right. They come over here. They do. They do because they know we popping over here. Miss Princess is definitely a new side hustle for some of the YouTubers. Yeah, and I get that. I, I totally get that, Miss Princess. Some people use this platform as a side hustle, as a way to make money. I totally understand that. And that's fine. But what I have a problem with is when you have people on your channel, you know that people need money. You know they're coming to your channel because there is a need for something. People need jobs. People need money. People got families to feed. People got rent to pay. People got mortgages that's due. You know what I'm saying? So the problem comes in to where you're asking them, you know, watch the video, like the video, share the video, but don't forget, buy my course, it's $500. I got a problem with that. That just irks me when, when they do that. And it's like, well, are you really here? Because you really trying to help the people or are you really here because you trying to make money off of the people? Kiki says, thank you for keeping this free and actually speaking from experience. You're welcome, Kiki. Jarvis says, thank you and Tan for sharing your knowledge. You're welcome, Jarvis. Cynthia says, when you walk in someone's shoes, you can speak their language. That's so true, Cynthia. Didi says, thank you, Cynthia. You really encouraged me to do the mystery shopping. Oh, that's sweet. Let's put that up there. Um, hey, PC. PC says, good evening. Uh, Stop Six says, what do y'all think about the low, medium content book? So we had a speaker here, Stop Six, this past Sunday. I don't know if you were here or if you saw the live stream video, but we did have a speaker here. I think it's a good side hustle, passive income. Once you do all the work, then you can just pretty much set it, forget it, make money. Uh, Felicia says, make it for everyone to prosper. Don't want that. Greed. That's where the greed, I think, comes into play. Because it's like some of these people try to live a, life, a certain lifestyle. And it's like, I guess I'm just guessing like the YouTube money just... It ain't enough. So I, if I'm trying to maintain, you know, I got this range roll over here. I got this $250,000 house. And yeah, the check's coming in from YouTube, but I need more. And that's where I feel like the greed comes in. And that greed, it, it'll take over you. It really will. How you doing stuff you probably didn't think you was going to do or, you know, try to do. Uh, <laughs> PC says that part. Uh, I can, Chiquita. I sure can. And I put it in the chat for you, darling. Cynthia says, yes, Didi, there are eggs to be cracked out there. Money, keep pushing. <laughs> uh, Felicia says, it stops six. I know, right? Felicia says, it PC. Hey, queen. She says, how are you? Robin says, so true. LB says, hit the like button. Like it, like, like, like. And that's why we give back over here because without the subscribers, I mean, everybody knows this. There is no views. There is no engagement. You got to have subscribers in order to make money off of YouTube. And everybody knows this. So I don't see if y'all pushing 10, 12, $13,000 a month, you can't buy nobody a laptop. You can't give back to your subscribers. You can't cash out somebody. You can't buy somebody groceries. You can't pay a light bill, a phone bill. You, I mean, it's, it don't make sense to me. You just, you can't. I guess you just can't do that. Chiquita says, thank you. Stop. <laughs> See, she says, Carl, you made me think about my old hairstylist. The price depends on what bills she had do shaking my head yeah so and i think that's what a lot of people stop six a lot of people are trying to you know uh live these lifestyles and i think once they start making the money because of course sometimes it'll, it may start out small and then it'll start to grow and grow and grow the more videos of course that you do of course the more money you're going to make so i think some people just kind of get in over their heads and they like, oh, well, I'm making this money. But the money fluctuates. It goes up. It goes down. It could go up, up, up one month and then it could go down, down, down the next month. So they don't look at it like, well, I need to put 
you know, $1,000 back. I need to put $2,000 back. They just get in over their heads and they trying to live this lifestyle for whatever reason. And then that's when the greed comes in and takes over. And it's like, well, this ain't enough money. Now I got to start charging these folks. I done built this channel up. So now I'm going to need them to give me some money. For whatever reason, YouTube already paying you. Why you need the money from your subscribers? These me. I don't know. Helen says, I see people charging hundreds of dollars for information that is free online and they haven't even put to use. Right. I always share the knowledge I have. And if I do offer my services, it won't be a crazy price. Exactly. It's a, you, you're going to make it affordable. I mean, because like I said, you got a course for $197. Lady, why? Why do you got a course for $197? Well, you know your people are here looking for a job. They ain't got time to be paying you. You getting paid from YouTube. And if you ain't getting paid from YouTube, then you need to try another hustle. And if you are getting paid from YouTube, you need to come up with another hustle to make that $197 that you charging your subscribers. Because that is just ridiculous. Chris says, I did see his time. Cynthia says, I only follow people who add value to other people. That's right, Cynthia. PC says, right, just talking about it and putting money on their video titles about how to do this or that. They draw you in with a cliffhanger and a carrot and they ain't never done none of that. Just be saying stuff, PC, just to get some clicks and some views. Just desperate. Must need the money. That's all I can say. That's, just, that's probably their only side hustle because most people that do YouTube some of them had it one side hustle where they pulling in all the money from YouTube, from the views, from the subscribers watching. But then they'll throw in, you know, this course or this template or this resume service or whatever they're trying to offer or they selling a product. They're an affiliate marketer for some type of product. Um, Judah said the keywords are all you queens keep being unique thank you judith i appreciate that because nobody was talking about keywords until we stepped on the scene and now everybody's talking about tailor your resume nobody was giving it they was not giving any of that information they could say what they want to say but you know you weren't giving the information we can go back and look at your videos because they still up Y'all was not giving the information until we stepped on the scene. And now you hear everybody in the videos, they sound just like Tan. If you go watch some of their videos and y'all probably done seen them and y'all hear them say, tailor your resume, go back and look at them old videos. They was never saying that. But when we came on the scene and Tan started pushing it and preaching it, every, and see, that's how we know they look at our videos and they watch us. Hey, y'all, y'all probably don't hear now watching me, hearing me speak. And you know I'm telling the truth because I'm all about honesty. Y'all was not talking about no resumes. Y'all was not talking about no keywords. And you definitely weren't talking about tailor your resume and this, that, and the other. You weren't even showing people about no resume until two chicks with a side hustle stepped on the scene. And we started talking about tailoring your resume, putting the keywords in your resume. And Tan started showing you guys how to put the keywords in the resume and then everybody else that was doing work from home started saying, tailor your resume. We had people to come on here on the live stream that was telling people about the, telling us about the other channels using our content in their videos. It was some people on here back when we first started doing the live streams would come on here and say, you know, I've been following this channel over here. I ain't never heard them say that. But today I heard her say that. Tailor her red tailor your resume. So I mean, do what you do. Keep on stealing. We don't care. <laughs> Y'all steal my titles anyway. The no resume. I started saying it. Then it, this thing I know everybody and their grandmammy started saying it. I don't care. I have words for days. I'm original. I ain't gotta go steal y'all content. For what? Y'all ain't talking about nothing. Y'all talking about what a job. Okay, I'm doing it. What else y'all talking about? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um renee says hi i'm back i'm looking for the pso link i can't find it in the last live okay renee i got you girl miss pris says the professor late on youtube charges too much for her services i just listen to the free info and get <laughs> and get her email i don't even know who that is uh miss pris is she talking about jobs or what's she talking about let me find the PSO. Let me see what did Tan do with it. Or where did she put it? Yeah, I gotta go look for it. 
Hang on, Renee. I'm going to try to find it. Renee, was it for Night Flirt? Or was it like, uh, talk to me? Let me see. Because we got quite a few on this list. I put the link in the chat. Uh, Renee, let me know. <laughs> Judith is clapping. Uh, Helen says, I've been invited to Shopify and crypto courses where I had to correct the expert. I wasn't trying to step on toes, but I didn't want people losing money or getting in tax trouble behind bad advice. That's why I said a lot of them don't care. Ooh, child. Just got a channel just to make some money. And that's fine. If that's what you're going to do, hey, do that. I'm not knocking the, the channel. I'm just saying when it comes to all that extra stuff that y'all want behind the folks watching your views and sharing your information, then you come with the, oh, come on by this. Come on by that. I got this. I got that for sale. I got this. You're trying to capitalize off your people because you're trying to live a certain lifestyle and keep up with the Joneses and it just ain't Joneses. So it's like Charge out for what? This stuff is free. Google it. YouTube it. It's other. I saw somebody last night. He was talking about um, how to make money off with faceless channels, right? So a lot of people will say it, and they'll, you know, they'll talk about it, and oh, I made, I, I got a channel right now, but they'll never show y'all what the channel is. They'll never put that information out there because it makes you wonder: Do they really got a channel? Probably not. They just on here trying to make some money. So they're doing this video. So he was like, I'm just sick of this. And he was showing like all the people that have done it. And he was scrolling down the list and he was just going through channel to channel. He was like, I'm just sick of this. He was like, give the folks the information. Why are you, same thing I'm saying now. Why are you charging the people? He was like, y'all come on here. He said, look at the, look at the thumbnails. And the thumbnails was like, Make a thousand dollars a day with a faceless channel, make a hundred dollars an hour with a faceless channel, just ridiculous uh thumbnails. And so he was just kind of going in and he was like, I'm just sick of this. He's something to show y'all how to make the money from the faceless channels. He showed the background, his dashboard in the back where he showed like his videos, his channel, everything. He showed everything step by step on how to do it and how to make the money because he just got fed up with them channels he said because they just trying to charge y'all money they telling y'all bits and pieces but then it's like oh the link down below that's my affiliate link y'all go down there and y'all click on that link and y'all make sure you know you sign up under my link so he's like no uh-uh mm -mm, i'm sick of this he said this is how you make the money with a faceless channel he put it out there, everything, step by step. I, I watched the whole video, y'all, from beginning to end. He gave everything, every website you need, everything, and he gave it for free and told you how to do it step by step. And he showed how much he was making off of his channel, how much he made in a month, how many views he got, and how much he was making off that channel. And that channel that he had, he had already made like $2,500 for the month of November. Um, Stop Six says, weatherization assistance programs is geared towards elderly and low income. She says, this agency will make sure your house is energy efficient by insulating, replace windows, replace weather stripping, and et cetera. I ain't never heard of that one. But thank you, Stop Six. Cynthia says, that's right, Helen, keep it. Jarvis says, two chicks are number one in my book. Thank you, Jarvis. <laughs> Stop, C says, step on them, Curl. Stop playing with the chick. They don't want me to step on them. I have them crying. They hear it like this shirt because they know they wrong. Cynthia says, that's right, Curl, because what God has for you is for y'all. They can copy, but they will have the same results. She says, I'm just saying, yep. Yeah. Okay, Renee, let us know how it goes. 
Um, Ms. Chris says the professor lady doesn't provide job leads, but she gives career advice, interview trainings, LinkedIn tricks and tips. Oh, okay. Um, the guy that I was just talking about, I gotta go. I, hang on. Let me find him, y'all. He just popped up in my feed last night. I was on YouTube and we got off of here. And he popped up in the feed and was like, yeah, you can do the faceless channel. So let me see if I can find him. Hang on, y'all. I, I know where to get the link from. Just hang on a second. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Cynthia says, ooh, where can I find him? So I put his link in the chat, everybody. If y'all want to go check it out, check out the video that he did. And he did this video... This is a recent video that he did. Let me see. When did he do it? Five days. Five, yeah, five days ago. Yep. So he did that one five days ago. So y'all check him out. Because I said, well, at least he's giving the real information and giving the websites on how to actually do it. Bianca says, I'm going to be having a business for templates for small business owners and a course for digital marketing. I do want to actually give people real tips on how to do it in English and in Spanish. Oh, you speak at the Espanol. Not a bad idea, Bianca. Danielle says, thanks. You're welcome, Queen. <clears throat> Bianca says, some other people are teaching it. We're not teaching anything. Uh, I heard a lot about the uh, digital marketing. Uh, you're welcome, WG. Yeah, I see a lot of people talking about digital marketing and selling um, digital products. Is that what your course will be about, Bianca, selling the digital products? No, I ain't never heard of that professor lady, Miss Priest. If somebody knew this and come under the radar. Yeah, go start y'all a faceless channel. I, th I think he gave some good information, valuable information, some good tips, some good um information on like what websites to go and check out. Because I know a lot of people, they're not going to. Got to buy the course. They want you to buy the course. They're not going to tell you anything, which is so crazy to me. Because like I said, if I'm supporting you by watching your videos and I'm supporting you by getting other people to your channel, you can't give it away for free. That's the least you could do. You ain't giving us nothing else. <laughs> you ain't doing no cash apps. You ain't doing no laptop giveaways. The least you could do is give it away for free. Give somebody uh, some templates for free. But no, y'all too busy trying to capitalize our folk. But it's all good. Because we're going to keep giving the free information. They'll find Y'all Y'all subscribers will find us sooner or later. It's something y'all need to think about. If y'all over there charging folks, everybody ain't going to go for that. They're not going to go for it. This is a new uh, survey site. Y'all want to check that out. Okay. Cynthia says, keep us posted, Bianca. She says, examples, ebook templates, wedding planners. Y'all heard somebody talking about um, the wedding planners, ladies. Um Good side hustle business. If you want to sell wedding planners, I heard that that is a top side hustle business. Um, 
She says the itinerary for weddings, Airbnbs, welcome books, and so on. Yep. I want to do the journals. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I got to find somebody. I ain't going to have all these side hustles. It's just one of me. I need a clone. I need about two, three clones. But I do want to do the um, the journals for women. Yeah. It's been one of like my side hustles that I want to do. But I'm like, girl, I was telling Tan. I said, I'm going to have to have somebody to do that. I ain't going to have to pay somebody to do that because I ain't going to do all this. This is too much. It's too much. That's not a bad idea for those of you that are looking for um, not none of the side hustles here, but maybe you want to start like your own side hustle. I would say look into the wedding planners, the journals. Um, and I know some people might say, well, it's saturated. Well, so what? <laughs> Everything's saturated. But you just got to keep going. You got to keep pushing. You never know what is going to sell. Your book could be purple. Somebody else could be selling orange books, but purple rules over orange. And then your books are selling now like hotcakes. Bianca says, it, it'll be a store for resources. Eventually, I want to do a faith-based store, prayer journals, yeah, devotionals, and therapy journals. Not a bad idea, Bianca. Helen says, I also don't like when people know somebody is looking for a job because they really need money, but offer them a big girl. <laughs> oh, Helen, there be so many people trying to come in our group. And I just be like, no, ma'am, block, no, ma'am, block. Because it says it on the outside, no business opportunities in here. And they be just over there in the pen and pose and Oh, I got this business opportunity. They'll try to present it as a job. But as you keep reading, you see, okay, this is a business opportunity. This is Prime America. This is Mary Kay. This is Avon or one of those type of companies. I'm like, ma'am, this is a work from home job group. This ain't no business opportunity. And there's so many business opportunity groups out there. Go post it in their group. You're not going to come in here with that mess. No. I can't stand it either. Got to pay to join, yep, and hope to recruit or sell to earn commissions. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I'm i like, okay, but I get it. You see, it's over 200,000 people in there, so you feel like, oh, I'm going to capitalize off of they folks. No, you not. No, ma'am. You better go build your own group like we had to build our own group. We didn't go in nobody's group and try to capitalize. Oh, they got 700,000 people in here. Let's go in here and get they folks. No. You got to go get your own group, lady. Bye. Bianca says, with God, um, will we will all succeed? I need to pay off debt and want to help my parents. Lovely, Bianca. Hey, Talia. She says, I just absolutely love your beautiful optimism, Carl. Ah, thank you, Talia. Thank you so much. And I think for me, y'all, my little backstory we grew up in the projects when I was a kid. And I always said, if I ever came into some money, I was going to make sure I blessed other people with whatever. So that's my little backstory. And that is why, you know, we give away the laptops. Because when we first started, I was telling Tan, I said, you know, we, we got to give back to the people. Because without the people, there is no two chicks. There is no car. There is no Tan. There's nothing. We are nothing without the subscribers. And it goes for everybody on YouTube from the top to the side to the middle to the bottom. These people are nothing without the fans, the viewers, the followers, the subscribers, the watchers. So thank y'all so much from the bottom of our hearts. We really do appreciate you guys for coming on here especially lately, night after night after night and day after day after day, watching the video, sharing the videos, leaving us comments in the comment section. Whether it's good or bad, we're going to take it all. And thank y'all again so much. Bianca says, I'm not a fan of Herbal Life. She says, laugh out loud. They chased me down. <laughs> not they chased you down. She says, 
said I had to be really firm that I was not interested when I kindly told them no before. Talia says, you and Tangie are blessing every day. Thank you, Talia. We try, girl. And I even bless when I go outside of the house. I don't just do it here on YouTube. I do it outside of the home as well. I, you know, some people that when I frequent their restaurants, I leave a nice piece of change on the table for the waitresses because they are nice. They, they very nice people, very nice establishments. And I just feel the need to do that. I do. Helen says, I think that's why I love helping people and I have a heart for the less fortunate because I was the less fortunate growing up. Same thing, Helen. I was the less fortunate growing up. So it's kind of like, you know, how you think about that. And you think about when people say, you know, I'm in this situation and I got, you know, these five kids, these four kids. And it kind of takes me back to my own situations back then when. But, you know, God has brought me through, my family through. And that was years, years, years ago. But that's the right thing to do, to give back and help people out. Felicia says, thank you, Queen, Carl, and Tangy. Um, Beyond Word says, integrity and compassion will take you a long way. Thanks for encouraging us. You're welcome. Lisa says, thank you for all your work. Keep us updated on your net. <laughs> Okay, Lisa, with me and my cousin, because she wants to do it. We was talking about that tonight. Girl, saw somebody washing some dishes, Lisa. And I sent her the video. She was over there just cracking up laughing because she had just mentioned it to me a couple of nights ago. She was like, you know what? I probably could wash some dishes. Girl, and then I seen the video. I had to send it to her, and she was like overwhelmed with it. She was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to go on and do this. Um, Cynthia says, I always tip good, too, because I used to be a waitress. When I was a teenager, see? And you remember that. You remember, because I sure remember. I remember staying, us, living in a two-bedroom apartment in the projects. It was six people that lived in my house. I remember that. And so, yeah, the right thing to do is to give back. Remember the people that's less fortunate. Remember. And that's not no good feeling. So I know about the jobs and y'all here fighting and, you know, with other people, not like fight, fist fighting, but I mean fighting to get a job and your competition, you're in competition with others that's looking for a job as well. And you don't feel that application after application after application after application and nothing is coming through you just got to keep the faith helen says i saw a lot of videos with virtual fireplace burning and christmas music playing they had hundreds of thousands of views girl was that asmr helen well i guess it well yeah christmas music playing yeah, because that fire place, a lot of people say it is relaxing to look at. So, yeah, I can see that. Wow. That ain't no bad idea. See, that's a faceless channel right there, Helen. There you go, girl. That is a faceless channel. And they probably got the videos from somebody else. <laughs> Probably get it from somebody else. But I want to say there are websites where you can get those backgrounds and all you got to do is like put the music in them, put the words on the screen and hey, that's the video. The the, the um, video is already like pre-made or that background is already pre-made and you just have to put it, you know, kind of tweak it a little bit. Put the music in it and put the uh, words on the screen or don't put no words on the screen, put the music in it. She says the people in the comments were saying it was relaxing, see? And one woman said it was soothing to her baby. I believe it. I just couldn't get over there washing the, the, the dishes in the sink. She was washing the dishes, and then she was drying the dishes. And I think that video had like 10,000 views. <laughs> like, girl, I'm going to go downstairs and wash me some dishes. Then I saw this other one, Helen, where the lady was rambling in her purse rambling in her purse y'all and had 
because she had two videos of rambling in the purse. I want to say maybe like 28, 38,000 views just to ramble in her purse. So she had her clear purse and you could see all her things in the purse. So she was just taking the stuff, just kind of taking her hand and going down in the purse, coming back out. And then she'll take the stuff out, start scratching on it, looking at it, putting it in the camera. Never saw her face though. All her videos, you never see her face. This is the same lady that's washing the dishes in the sink. You never see her face. So she's just playing with her stuff and playing with her stuff. And then I'm like, okay, is she going to do anything else? <laughs> but uh-uh, nothing else. Thank you, Magris. Thank you so much. So WG and Jarvis, Magris emailed me some companies Yes, last night when we got out the stream, and I did tell her to remind me because I knew I was going to forget, but she is here and she did remind me. So let me go over here and get these links. Thank you so much, Magris. Magris says, this is good for you guys. So y'all check out these companies that Magris found for y'all. Let me see. So Jarvis, if you want to set something up to talk to the lonely folks, Magris got y'all covered. <laughs> um, they do autism mommy. She says those types of videos make some real money. They do, and girl, I I'm just like, wait a minute. So I can wash some dishes and somebody going to sit here and look at this video? Yes. If they can go and target and tap on some makeup um, and get a thousand views or a hundred thousand views, I'm like, yeah. Somebody had the water running in the, I think it was the bathroom sink. It was just drip, drip, drip for 30 minutes. And I think that video hit maybe over two or three thousand views i want to say so i put the links in the chat jarvis if you and wg if it, uh i don't know if xavier is still here but if you guys want to check out those companies magris went and found for you check them out jarvis and let us know if you hear anything or if anything comes out of that thank you magris jarvis says thank you thank you for sharing And it's one more job is this one. She says that this is a blog that was published a few months ago that has good information. So you may want to check that one out too. But yeah, autism mommy, I'm just blown away, girl. And, and you're right. Them people making some real money and ain't even doing nothing. I'm like, they ain't even they not doing anything. I saw one lady, she was sitting down on the floor and she was just literally reeking her hands across the floor. And then sometimes she'll slow down and she'll tap and then she'll go back to just like she's scratching the floor, ladies and gentlemen. And this lady had for this video, I want to say she had maybe like 80,000 views. <laughs> You right, autism mommy. So this is what autism mommy, she's telling all of y'all to do. She says, go ahead and get that ASMR started. That's some money in ASMR, ladies and gentlemen. We was talking about this a couple of nights ago on the channel. Y'all may want to check into this one. That's a good side hustle, egg, which could turn from a side hustle maybe into a full-time job. But I don't see a lot of men. Now, I did see a guy today, Autism Mummy. He had a background, which was unusual. But it was like, I don't know if he was in a garage or if he was in a room in his house. But he had a stand. And on the stand, he just had a bunch of different candy, like all types of candy. So he would pick up the candy. I don't have really any candy. But this is what he would do. So he would, so let's say this is the candy here in my hand. Well, now I got some candy, I got some. So this is the candy right here, y'all. This is what he would do. He'd pick the candy up and he would just, 
make the sound the crinkling sound of the paper and i think he had like four hundred thousand views on this video and i'm like he ain't even doing nothing so jarvis they get you some candy <laughs> You better get you some candy, Jarvis. Get you a stand. Put some candy on that stand and stand there in the camera and make that sound with that paper. I don't even think the man ate the candy. He just was picking up different candies and he was like, Twix. He'll say the name, but he'll whisper. So this is what? The Sour Patch. So he'll be like, Sour Patch. And then he'll start playing with it and he'll put it down and he'll go to the next piece of candy and then he'll start shaking the box of nerves because they shake and he'll put that down he'll go to the next piece of candy i'm like he ain't even doing nothing and people like those i didn't realize that autism mama but autism mama has opened up my eyes to a whole nother set <laughs> of uh a side hustle because people like those sounds i didn't realize that but people do they like those sounds autism mom says let me go get my reese's cups gary then this one autism mom is what took me away the lady had a gigantic and i don't even know where she got this from but she had a gigantic hershey bar so the hershey bar it probably was as big as my notebook so this is the hershey bar this pretend this is the hershey bar right so this is what she was doing y'all this is the hershey bar in my hand so you know it's got Hershey the word in front of it. She was doing this tracing. She was tracing the letters of Hershey, and she had probably like twenty five thousand views, or probably more than that, on that one video. And I'm like, I ain't even doing that. Then she would unwrap the Hershey bar, put it down on the table, and start tapping on it. Then scratching it, scratching it, scratching it. I'm like, this is unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. She didn't eat the candy. She just was sitting there scratching on it, tapping on it. And she probably got, like I said, 25, 30,000 views off that one video. And I'm like, lady, you ain't even doing nothing. You're doing absolutely nothing. Things that you probably wouldn't think of, like, nah, I can't do that they doing it lady went in the bookstore and she just went down the aisle tapping on the books just tapping Forty thousand views off the video autism mama says i think they sell that giant candy on amazon well girl i'm about to go get me some <laughs> uh renee is on now they got some on tiktok but I didn't really see a whole bunch on TikTok. The ones that I'm talking about were on YouTube. Hey, Adrian. So Adrian has some good news. She says, I got out the wait list from Prolific. She says, or oh, whatever they, they name is. Now I'm waiting for a second response. Congratulations for you. That's some good news, Adrian and Meeks. I don't know if Meeks is still here. Meeks might be over this knocked out sleep. But Meeks stated that she's getting about $30 to $35 a day off of Prolific, and she's pushing for $40. So I hope, Adrian, that you're able to get $40 a day like Meeks or maybe more. And congratulations again. Oh, we says hi. <laughs> she says, hi, all. I am back. Well, welcome back. Okay, I'll tell the mama, I'm going to go on Amazon look for me a chocolate Hershey bar. <laughs> I'm going to go look for me a chocolate Hershey bar. Y'all, look at the ASMR video. I'm telling y'all, this is an easy side hustle. I swear it is. Renee says, I just started with it today. Renee, what are you doing, girl? Come on, sure. We want to know. We know. See what you doing. So, are we, you just in time because we talking about the ASMR. Um, McGriss says, you're welcome, Kara. Thank you again, McGriss, for sharing the information and trying to help Jarvis out in WG and Xavier. We appreciate that. So Renee says she's doing it. She started today. So we want to know, Renee, what are you doing, girl? 
Um, Autism Mama says the best are on YouTube. She says, congratulations to you, Adrian. Um, no, Renee, they are not um, regular surveys. Um, a lot of people say those surveys are easier than branded because those they're going to send you the ones that whatever you put on your profile. So you will more than likely qualify for. Adrian says, wow, amazing. I like the shirt and going to going back to bed. She says, love you. Go get that money. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. We'll catch you hopefully on the next live stream. So on we said she watched those ASMR videos last night. Well, yesterday. <laughs> so on we, if you had a choice, what do you think you would do as far as the ASMR? Would you do the tapping with the nails? Because it's so many now. I've seen like so many, so many different things you can do with this ASMR. Um, Sophia says those are huge triggers in ASMR. I go to sleep with every night. Okay, so see people like, I didn't realize, Sophia, that people like these sounds. Like I'm behind. I should have been had an ASMR channel. So I am behind on that. But I didn't realize that people had people like these sounds. I just I didn't realize that. But Autism Mummy, thanks to her, she brought this side hustle here a few nights ago. And ever since then, I have been looking at the videos, just trying to get like ideas and stuff like that. But it is a huge, I would say a huge sector for people that want to get into it. Cause I didn't really see like a whole, whole bunch of channels. So I don't really think it's saturated like that. And then, of course, you know, you just kind of kind of put your own spin on it. Think of things that make sounds like this ink pen. I could be tapping with the ink pen. It makes a sound. So anything that makes a sound, ladies and gentlemen. Now, one lady I was watching earlier today, she was actually doing like role play. But the role play was just her standing like off to the side behind a mannequin. And she was just basically combing the mannequin's hair, just kind of playing with the mannequin. So I didn't really get it. I said, maybe I just need to go back to the beginning and kind of look at some of her videos to kind of get the gist of that one. But she did have a lot of subscribers. I think she may have had like two or 300,000 subscribers. And she had a lot of people watching her videos. So... I guess it makes sense to them. I don't know. Uh, yeah, those are the ones on We Girl. Just pick one. That's the brand. Just, just pick you one. Uh, Adrian says, thank you, Autism Mommy and Felicia. Felicia was saying congrats. On We says, wow, congrats, Renee. Um... I was just, ah, they had another one on there on we that was a little bit cheaper than that. I know you just gonna have to choose one, and if it don't work, girl, send it back. Sophia says, Yes, I can't sleep without them insomnia. Well, that's good to know, Sophia. So when I get that channel, you're gonna be over there on my channel, Sophia. <laughs> um and we says, I will do the sound one, thinking of either tapping or washing my hands in the sink. Laugh out loud. Girl, I saw the lady washing dishes today. On we, she was washing her dishes. So she she had an empty sink. And she cut the water on, put the stopper in, cut the water on, let the sink fill up, put her dishwashing liquid in. And she was just taking her dishes out the rack and putting it over in the water real slow, one by one. And one by one, and one by one, and then when they all got in the sink, she started making them sounds with the water and her nails clacking against the plates and stuff. And then when she got done, she rinsed them off and she dried every single one with the towel. And you know, that towel kind of make a little noise. She didn't talk at all through the video, she didn't say anything when they come on. She, you see her standing at the sink and she starts washing the dishes or, you know, making a dishwater to wash the dishes. But she probably got about three, four thousand views on that video. She had like two videos like that back to back. So 
Here they love these sounds. Miss Pris says, I love watching the role play and massage ASMR videos. See, I, I, I got to see what that's about, Miss Pris, because like I said, the lady was standing behind a mannequin and the mannequin had on a wig and she was doing a role play and she was combing on the mannequin's hair and kind of like tapping on the shoulders of the mannequin. And I'm like, I, I didn't really get it. But I'm sure people get it because she got a lot of views on her videos. I said I probably have to go back to like the very beginning just to see what that's about. Uh, Autism Mom says, Carl, I think you would be the best with the tapping, the whispering, and the rattling paper. Oh, well, thank you, Queen. Now, Autism Mom, I thought about doing the typing since I can type fast. I thought about getting on them keyboards. I looked up a keyboard today. It's the older version. So, you know, the one that really smack, <laughs> you know, the keys back in the day, that old keyboard that we used to have at school when we were learning how to type and it smack. And then, you know, you got to push the thing to the side and pull the paper out. I saw a lot of those today, autism. Mom, and I thought about getting one of those. They had this real cute pink one and I love pink. That's my favorite color. So I was like, oh, this might work. I don't know. I may have to go on and buy it and see. Uh, Sophia says, it's a whole community. She says, sludgy, ASMR, GB. I heard of uh, the second one. I think the first one, I think somebody mentioned her on here last night. Is that the one, Sophia, that eats the food? I think somebody mentioned that one. But the, the, the last two, I think the third one, I looked at her video today. I think the second lady, I looked at her last night. Uh, and we says, okay, thank you. I'm happy for you, are we? Are we going to be up and gone? Magritte says, my nephew is quadriplegic and suffers from anxiety at times. He listens to the 30-minute relaxation videos. Okay. She says, it's soft music with the woman speaking softly. And she does what's called a body scan. Is she on YouTube, on we? I mean, Magris. Uh, we says, yes, they have cheaper ones. They do. Sophia says, yes, Carl, with the bells on. Jerry, I'm going to have to give me some bells and ring them together or something. we says, I won't show any videos. I will be a dark screen with the sound will be heard away. <laughs> Hey, on we, whatever works, Queen, if that works, which I'm pretty sure it will, go for it. Because there are a lot of people that do not show their face. Now, the young lady that I'm talking about with the dishes, she's only showing you like her hands. Like you can see her arms, of course, but ma mainly all of her videos hand. The one that's, that's doing the tracing on the candy, just her hand, never saw her face. She's tapping on her countertops. Never see her face, but she gets a lot of views on her channel. She does. Um, Autism Mama says, Is Sophia, yes. And then she named quite a few. And I have not heard of any of these people. Autism Mommy, are they on YouTube? I looked at a lot of videos today. Oh, and another one that was real easy, y'all was counting money i saw this one they had a machine and you know how the machine counts the money and makes the noise and they just kept putting that money in the machine over and over and over and the machine was making the noise and then i saw another young lady she had a stack of money and she would just kind of take the the money kind of do it like that and then she'll throw it down and then she'll go to the next bill and She'll make the sound with the money and she'll throw it down. And I'm like, and I think that video may have been close to like a million views just to count some money. But that's, they say that's a form of ASMR. So count them dollars, ladies. Put them dollars in the camera. Rub them together and throw them down. Go to the next dollar. And that could last for like 30 minutes. And that's a video of you counting money ASMR. Paula London says, I wonder if those are her dishes. <laughs> Girl, they were somebody dishes, Paula London. But I'm just thinking like, 
people watching watching you wash some dishes it's, it's it sounds like it's unheard of right it's really just unbelievable but if y'all go and look on youtube and type in asmr all types of videos will come up and you will be amazed at what some of these people are doing and how many views they are getting on these videos this is by far one of the easiest side hustles out there and i was saying with jarvis and xavier and wg really don't see men doing it so that's why i was saying with the men i was talking about last night the untapped markets for them I don't see men doing hauls, trying on clothes, the try ons, try try these clothes on with me, or come to Walmart and we're gonna do this haul together. I don't see men doing that at all on YouTube ever. I've never seen a man do that. So I was telling Jarvis them last night, and other people here were saying, "No, you're right. You really don't see men doing that. Really don't see men doing the ASMR either." I think I've seen about maybe four guys doing the ASMR just four now it could be others i'm pretty sure it is but the channels that i saw today the guy was standing standing like right here and he had he was standing in front of a stand and he had all that candy and he was just taking this piece of candy showing it in the camera rubbing all on it and putting it down and he would say the name of the candy and then go to the next piece and i think he did that for like an hour jarvis could do that that ain't he the man didn't, didn't do nothing special Jairus, you could do that. You could stand in front of a stand, get you a little regular stand and put some candy on it and just have the camera showing whatever you got from here up. And you could stand there and just be like, Hershey, Hershey. <laughs> and start rubbing on the Hershey's and then put it down and go to the next piece of candy. So it's ways to do this. Watch some of the videos. Don't overthink it because if you look, if you just start, because you'll be like, oh, okay, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Don't overthink it, ladies and gentlemen. Just watch some of the videos, mimic what you see, but just kind of put your own spin on it. Change up the background, change up the colors. If you see somebody that's maybe the background is purple, make your background orange, make your background yellow. Maybe put some lights up, those little lights that you see people having going around their rooms. Put some lights up, light some candles, make it a little dim. So, or get you a lava lamp, you know, just kind of dress it up. You ain't got to go spend no whole, whole bunch of money or nothing like that. But it's just ways to just do it and, you know, come up with some ideas. I saw somebody doing somebody's uh, hair. Now, it was not a real person. And I think the title of the video was I'm cutting Barbie's hair. She had two dolls, not the Barbie doll size, not the big dolls, but the small Barbie doll sizes. She had two of them and she stuck them in a chair. She put one here, one here. I think one was like the life size, bar not the life size. One was like the actual Barbie, like a grown Barbie. And the other one was the child Barbie. So she had two of those. She set them in a chair and she just literally was doing their hair, had the uh, curling iron and she was acting like she was curling the hair and then she cut the hair and that was the video. And that video, I think y'all had like 4 million views. Yeah, so that was ASMR. She didn't say anything. I didn't hear her talking. If I did, if she did talk, I didn't hear her say anything. I don't think she said anything. She may have said something at the start of the video, like, I'm cutting hair today, 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 today. Because they whisper. They, ain't, they don't talk loud. They whisper everything. All of it. Whatever videos y'all go on, y'all going to see and hear, they're going to be whispering. I saw another lady just calling out some names, just on there, shouting out her subscribe. I, I'm guessing these were her subscribers. I really don't know. Could not have been. I don't know. But she was just you know, calling out some names and she was just whispering each name and she was just going down the list and saying, hi, hi, Robert, hi, hi. And then she go to the next person. So, I mean, this is by far one of the easiest side hustles out there. And again, like on we said, she's not going to show her face. You do not have to show your face. You don't. Um, we says, do I need to do an intro into my first video? I have done some research and it said I don't really need to do the intro. 
up to you, Owe. You're going to be on there whispering. <laughs> I mean, you can. I would do like, okay, so one young lady, she has like the start of the video. It's not her. It's like somebody created this for her. So when it comes on, her name comes up in the screen and it'll go at the way. So you could do something like that. And then soon as that part goes out the way, then the screen, you'll see her come on the screen and she may talk and she may not. She may say, you know, welcome. But she's whispering now. So she's not talking like how I'm talking. She's whispering like welcome. And she'll say, you know, hi, la, 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 hi, la, 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 la. And then she'll be making the sounds in the microphone. And then she'll put her nails in the screen. Know how they do there. She'll do that go across the screen like that and then she'll just start making noises she'll you know run her fingernails together start tapping going across the microphone touching on the microphone some of them do that brush i don't know if you've seen that one on we where they have the makeup brush and she'll take the makeup brush and she'll be going across the screen like that so it's really like however you want to do it Sophia says, yes, they do role plays for the hairstyling. Yep, I've seen that. Sophia says, oh, please get a typewriter keyboard with the light up board. Yep, I've seen that, Sophia. So that's what I think I may start doing, the typing. I think the typing would be good for me. Um, I did think about the whispering. <laughs> I did think about that, the whispering. Uh, on we says individualized role playing is number one on the rank. Uh, speaking quietly or softly is number two, and ambiance and music is number three. Okay, on we. Sophia says yes. Sophia says she got like twelve million. See, I saw somebody channel today, y'all. No lie, the lady just started a month ago. So a month ago, she started in October. First video, 61,000 views. First video, 61,000 views. Helen says, I got to pull out one of my corded keyboards. Their wireless one don't make. <laughs> she said, don't make enough noise. Uh, Polo London says, my six-year-old niece loves the sound of the typing the, the typing sound so she likes to hear the type she says i work from home and live with my sister and her kids and my niece is always like auntie because she loves hearing my type oh that's so sweet uh, cynthia says an old manual typewriter is a good one yeah see i've been over here thinking cynthia yes ma'am that's a good one and see, they have redesigned it. It still looks like the old typewriter, but now they have like the colorful one. So they, I saw like a red one, the pink one. I saw a black one. I saw a brown one and a turquoise one. Amazon. I ain't like that price though, Cynthia. That price was kind of up there. <laughs> Hold on, I said, oops. Felicia says, I watched the Baglands uh, Chugs and that made me nauseated watching him but see look how many folks he got watching him though felicia chug down some uh drinks here they just coming up with all kind of stuff to do autism mama says yes they they would love that retro keyboard typewriter pink is also me and my daughter's favorite color she says her whole room is painted pink yeah i like the light up keyboards too so i would probably get both of them maybe to kind of change it out because i do like the light up keyboards autism mom says yep all on youtube sophia says yes you have to stay consistent but people use it for anxiety relaxation and sleep i use my playlist every night okay sophia well thank you for the tip queen i appreciate that and we says, Carl, this is the easiest. She says, laugh out loud. Who even suggested it here? Autism mommy. She says, thanks a million. We need more of it. Uh, Autism mommy says, you might could do some laundry. Pour the laundry detergent. Yeah. And one that I came up with uh, last night, Autism mommy, the, um, I don't know if y'all remember the old telephones. The one that had the rotary dial. <laughs> And you could just be, and you know how it'll roll back. And then, 
Is it in the road, big girl? I had thought about that one last night because I saw somebody with the phone. And I said, a lot of people probably like that little sound. She had like, I think on that video, I think she may have hit maybe like 400,000. Uh, Felicia says, I've seen the budgeting videos using the cash envelope system. You don't see their faces. Yep, I've seen a lot of those too, Felicia. And those are some very good uh, channels. So they, and But think about it. They're giving value. People want to know how to save money. It's value. So that's a good channel to start. WG says, laugh out loud. WG, you're going to stand back there and play with that candy? <laughs> Cynthia says so many good ideas. Magris says, Yes, I found the one she does with nature sounds and her speaking. It has over 500,000 views. See, I saw somebody outside, y'all, playing in the grass with her nails, just going back and forth in the grass like that. Lady was playing with some paper towels, had like 40,000 views on that video just to get some paper towels, and she was just doing this to the paper towel. Up and down, scratching. So, y'all, I'm telling y'all, thanks to Autism Mommy for bringing this side hustle to the channel. This is an easy one, especially if you know you still waiting to hear back from some of these other side hustles, some of these jobs. You could literally start this side hustle tomorrow. You could literally start it tomorrow. It's that easy. Get you a Gmail account. Go get you um, the YouTube channel, get a name, and you on your way. You got a phone, a $1,400 iPhone. It takes some good pictures because I've seen it. My sister has one. Y'all can record from your phone. You ain't got to have all this expensive stuff. Start making the money. Then you start upgrading. But you can make the money from that phone, that $1,400 iPhone. Got to get your return on investment. Autism Mama says, Only you are most welcome. My heart just led me to share this with everyone. Oh, well, thank you, Autism Mommy. And see, Sophia, she says, it's soothing. Uh, Magritte says, Carolyn Magritte Meditation is her channel. 30-minute deep bone relaxation and meditation. Okay, Magritte. And some people like that. They do. Oh, we says Ed Autism Mommy, thanks once more. Please feel free to share some more with us. Danielle says, Great, share y'all money. Thanks. Um, Stop Six says, The TEFL certification is free. Teach English as a foreign language. If anyone is interested, let me know. WG says, Go get some Dollar Tree dolls and cut the hair. <laughs> Hey, WG, whatever works. Because they don't know, right? They not going to know. Because this really was not a real Barbie doll. It was probably a doll from Dollar Tree. And she was doing the role play like she was doing the doll's hair. And for some reason, people like these role playing videos. I saw a lady that was acting like she was doing this to the lady hair. But it wasn't a, a real lady. It was a mannequin. And she had a wig on. And she took the brush. You know, that brush makes that noise with the hair. And she just kept brushing, brushing, brushing over and over and over again. Video had like 23,000 views just to brush on some hair, some fake hair at that because it, it was not her hair. It was a wig. I'm like, wow. Now, Autism Mommy says the slime. I didn't even know they had no slime. She says, oh, the slime ASMRs are good ones, too. See, now I'm going to have to go look that one up, Autism Mommy, because I didn't even know they had slime. Uh, Ongwe says, one of those ladies whispered her introduction. See, Ongwe, girl, you can be over there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> she said, one of those you showed us yesterday, she shows her face. The, oh, yeah. Yeah, she does whisper. She does. Uh, Sophia says at stop six, she's interested in the, where to get the certification from. Now I know you can get it from Groupon, but theirs is not free. It's not free. Sometimes it may be five bucks. Sometimes I think for mine, I paid 14 for mine. Cynthia laughing at you, WG. Um, and we says, yes, I have seen that. 
the makeup brush. Yep, that's a good one, aren't we? Gary put that makeup brush in the camera. She was brushing all that negativity away. <laughs> then one of them, I think she was applying makeup. And some people like the ear cleaning. I didn't really get that one, but I mean, I saw one lady, she had like the microphone. She had put, looked like a fake piece of hair on top of the microphone and had like some fake ears that she created on the side. And she was sticking something in there, like a little, looked like some tweezers. And to that video, y'all, I think she had like over 100,000 views on that video. And she was acting like she was cleaning somebody's ear. Uh, Felicia says she's going to be whispering like the yin yang twin. <laughs> Not whispering. Stop six says, is anyone doing the lonely people chatting? How you? She says, how can you make any money at 10 cents a message? Uh, Stop six. Yep, I was doing admin chat when they first when i first learned about them which was way back in 2018 but keep in mind so i'm gonna say this stop six i started doing the texting companies way back in 2008 so i started with this one company and they showed me how to do it so i was able to master the texting i can really probably do it in my sleep um but over of course over a period of time you get faster at it because once you learn how to do it, how to answer the uh, the messages, then it'll just come natural because a lot of the times the messages are repetitive. It's like, I would say maybe over a hundred guys on the site and typically they're going to be asking the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. So by the time I got to admin chat in 2018 with that company, I was able to hit $2,000 a month off of that company and we had other people here doing it also over in the facebook group making like 300 a week 500 a week 400 a week 200 a week a hundred dollars a week so it can be done yes ma'am and see i can type real fast too so that's another thing i think if you can type fast and once you just kind of scan through the messages and see what they talking about then it'll it's kind of like a natural thing so if if i was sitting here texting somebody now and the question was you know what is your name where are you from what do you like to do for fun so you're gonna look at the profile because you already got a profile up there the profile will have a picture of a lady it would not be you they never know who they that you are. They never know you. So it'll be a profile of Cindy. Cindy is 21 years old. She's a college student. She works as a waitress at a pizza shop. She has no children, no boyfriend, and she's a freshman in college. So what I would do, I would look at the profile. Okay, my name is Cindy. So now I'm typing as I'm reading the profile. My name is Cindy. I am 21 years old. I live in Texas. And then if they have the profile filled out all the way, meaning they have up there what Cindy likes to do. So Cindy likes to go ice skating. I like to go ice skating. Cindy likes to go fishing. I like to go fishing. Cindy likes to hang out with friends. And on the weekends, I like to hang out with my friends. What is your name? What do you like to do for fun? How old are you? There's three questions right there that I had to ask him because you got to ask the questions in order to keep him engaged, in order to hook him in and make him want to keep talking to you. Then once I hit submit, I go to the next profile. So the next profile, I could be Joanne. And Joanne is a lonely housewife. She has three grown children. She has a dog named Mumu. And she just sits at home all day and her husband goes out to work. And she's you know lonely and she wants to talk and she wants to get to know other people but she doesn't want her husband to find out so that's her profile right there so when the next one comes in it could be something runchy because they do kind of sometimes the conversation will go into the left field and he could be asking her about her preferences what positions if you get what i'm saying and so you got to read a profile. They already going to have stuff listed. Now, some of the stuff you're going to have to make up yourself. So they may have it listed what she likes. So 
as I'm reading her profile, I'm already on typing to him whatever they saying in his profile that she likes. Now, if it ain't nothing up there, then I got to make up some. Okay, well, I like this. I like that. I like this. What type of things do you like? Oh, that's turning me on. Well, what is it that I can do to turn you on? So you got to keep them coming back for more, basically. You're a character. But you can make money. 10 cents a message, I feel like that's good. Compared to what I was getting when I first started, I was getting like pennies, like five cent, three cent, two cent a message. But 10 cent, you can do something with 10 cent. Because if you send 10 messages and it can be done, let's say you send 10 messages in two minutes, you'd have made a dollar. You can roll that to like 10, 12, $15 in an hour. If they have the messages coming and you reading what the profile is saying and you ain't skipping the beat, you can get some money from these texting sites. I've done it. I've worked for several and I have made a lot of money off of admin chat. Admin chat right now is the highest paying one in the industry that I know of. I'll say that because it could be others out there that pay more than admin, but that I know of stop six, they are the ones that are paying the most money. Cynthia says, autism mommy, my granddaughter loves making slime. She calls herself the slime princess. She says, good idea. Yep, on we, her first video, 61,000. And all she was doing was just introducing herself and talking and, and tapping. That's it. 61,000 views, first video. And her channel, like I said, has only been up for a month. And I think she has about, give or take, maybe 10 videos up. Maybe 12. And she's getting views already. She went from a thousand subscribers two weeks ago. In two weeks, she's now over 3,000. Mm hmm. Autism Mom says that Cynthia start checking the time. ASMR. I mean, start checking the slime. She says, ASMR, all you need to show is your hands and not even use your voice. I'm gonna go find this a hey, autism mom. I'm finna write it down right now, child. When we when I get off of here, y'all gonna have me over there looking at the video. <laughs> I'm gonna be over there looking at the AMR slime, honey. I'm finna go look that one up soon as I get off of here. Felicia says maybe do a two chicks whisper video for a side hustle. Laugh out loud and whisper, bye, you too. <laughs> Cynthia says, Carl, you might have to go to a thrift store to find an old school typewriter. Cynthia, I'm going to have to go and spend that money. <laughs> Girl, that typewriter, I looked at that price and said $200. Lord have mercy. I'm going to have to go and spend it, Cynthia. Uh, oh, we says, yes, I remember that telephone. Yep, they got it. They got it on uh, Amazon, y'all. I'm going to be on their dialing. <laughs> autism mom says go ahead and get that retro phone yep i'm gonna be on that dialing talking real low like somebody in trouble my cousin was laughing at me early i said i'm gonna have them folks laughing they're gonna be like this lady got us laughing this ain't asmr <laughs> oh we said i don't even know where one can get those types of telephones now girl amazon got everything on we I looked it up today. They had several cheap, like $24. The one my grandmama used to have. Cynthia says, yes, we had the yellow and light blue rotary phone. Yep. We had the one, Cynthia, that was clear. I don't know if y'all remember the clear one. So you would, when that somebody would call, you could see it light up. That's the one we had. And a black one. Autism Mama says, it on we Amazon and eBay. Now, I didn't think about eBay, but you're right, eBay. Cynthia says, my mom watched Pimple Pop and she gets hypnotized. Girl, I do too. I like uh, Dr. Pimple Popper. McGriss is laughing at you, WG. Felicia says, good night, Carolyn. Chat, love and blessing. Psalms 91 over each and every one. Thank you, Felicia. Stop 6 says, good night. Stop 6 says, come here, little mama. Let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> McGriff says, good night, Felicia. Stop says, shut up, Kurt. $14. No. 
My grid says, stop. I sang that song too. Randy says, you speaking truth on me. You can't be looking for a job. They would try to charge you high when you was looking for one. Yep. And she says, hello. Stop six is laughing at you, McGriz. On we says at autism. She says, uh, really? What are those types of telephones called? Old telephones, laugh out loud. The rotary. The rotary phone, girl. Get you one on we, girl. Being the dog dialing. <laughs> oh. Uh, stop six. All of them porn, girl. All them sites like that. It, not, none of them are clean. It just depends on who you talking to, but <clears throat> some of the guys are not on that. They just talk and chatting as a friend, but a lot of them want to talk that sex talk. So if that's not your cup of tea, girl, then I wouldn't do it. Uh, admin chat 13 to 19 cents per message or per text. Now, I have not done cloud worker, so I really don't know how that one is but i'm pretty sure they just like the rest of them i mean all of them to me the same i done worked for several different companies and they all were the same it's just the pay was different of course some of them paid like three cent five cent ten cent and then admin chat from what i know they are the highest paying one right now but it could be some. It could be somebody else out there that pays more than them. But I haven't. I have not seen anybody else paying over twenty cent. Mm, and we says autism mommy. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. She says good night, Felicia. She says laugh out loud. And we says Kara, what position for what? <laughs> Add me in chat. WG says laugh out loud. Autism mommy says that's why it's called after dark. And we says autism right. So I see, says, oh, wow. Okay, this is the reason I need y'all. Thank you for that. Uh, oh, he says, those text messages can turn someone on. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Autism mom says, y'all better not start tonight. <laughs> y'all so funny. Oh, he says, wow, that's nice. I hope I get subscribers. I'm pretty sure you will, girl. Uh Remember, on we the views, the views, the views, the views, and you only need 500 subscribers, along with I think it's 3,500 watched hours to get monetized. So that's not a lot because it was higher than that for us. Uh, Stop six says, Yes, ma'am, the old clunkers are very expensive. <laughs> um, Autism Mom says that on we, we will be there to support you all the way. Uh, South Sea says, I know they're not the old phones that weigh 35 pounds. Um, South Six, the one that's the rotary, you know, the one that you had to manually dial, not the push button, because some of they upgraded, of course, as time went by, but not the push button, them old phones that you had to turn the dial on. So they got them, girl. I seen them on Amazon earlier today. And yes, it's Wayfair. Okay, Danielle, I'm going to write that down. See, y'all helping me out. Wayfair got the typewriter. I won't say Office Depot had it also. Around the same price. The $200. I think it was like $225 for the typewriter on... Office Depot. I think it was 225 on Office Office Depot. But I think Amazon. Let me see what Amazon had it for. It was two something. I do remember that. $199. Amazon got it for $199. Same thing, $200. But now the one that I want, Amazon is a little bit higher. It's $249 for the one that I want or the one that I'm looking at. I say that it's $249, y'all. Yup. And um, we says one question I am going to have. 
two YouTube channels now, one for ASMR and one for my book. That of my book, do I show my photos while narrating my story? I am not going to be on camera for now. Um, are you just going to be reading the book only? Let us know so we can kind of get an idea. She says, until I get support next year, she says, thanks. I will get that <laughs> rotary phone laugh out loud. Key says, I had a clear phone back in the 90s. Yeah, I like that clear one. Uh, nope, oh, wait, that's, that's low. I don't think 500 subscribers is a lot. Mm -mm. It can be done. You got us over here. I'm pretty sure you're going to get there quick. <laughs> so she says, yes, the notary, the rotary phone takes five minutes to dial. And <laughs> but see, that's the thing, stop six. That's what you want because, again, the noise, the noise. So they want to hear that. Click, 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 click. And then when they go back over, it's making that other sound. Click, 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 click. Back up. Got to sit there and do that all night. Like, y'all come on over here and watch me dial. <laughs> um, McGriff says, y'all going retro retro with the typewriters and the rotary phones. Laugh out loud. Yep, McGriff, because I want the sound. It's all about the sound, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, the keyboard, of course, everybody doing the regular keyboards, but a typewriter, you know, it hit them keys hard. Real hard. Smack them. Just looking for that good sound. And we says most of the things I bought from Wayfair did not last long for me. Oh no, that's not good. Stop six says, on we ask if it's okay to drop your link in the chat, and I'll definitely subscribe. I don't think she got her link yet. Uh, Stop six. Autism mommy says exactly. It took more time to make the call than talk to the person on the phone. <laughs> So six says exactly. Uh, are we? Yes, ma'am. You're welcome to put it here. Oh, okay, okay. So you're not reading it. You're just gonna narrate it. Uh, let me think on that one. Are we? We're gonna brainstorm together and see what ideas we come up with. Um. Uh, Autism Mama says, just show the pages in the book while you read it. Yeah, now nah, that's a good idea. You don't want to show your face? Yeah, I think that's a great idea, Autism Mama. Uh, and we says, okay, thanks, Carol. Or do like that lady on we where she was sitting there turning the pages. That was ASMR, girl. Turn the pages in this book. <laughs> <laughs> so you could be turning the pages and take the sound out and then put that ASMR because that was one I just was really blown away by I'm like you're going to turn the pages on the catalog and, and somebody going to look at this and yeah she had I want to say maybe 200,000 views just by turning the pages on the catalog and people looking at it Star six says, yes, the weird sound is exactly what you want. Autism mama says, we out here telling our age with these typewriters in <laughs> Oh, uh, Carol says, Carol, do you have a theatrical costume company near? She says, there are prop shops that rent things for filming. You could do a series in a day. I didn't think about that, Carol, but then, hey. See, I'm taking y'all advice and I'm writing everything down. I got my little book right here. Thank you, Carl. I didn't think about that. I probably do. I'm going to have to go Google now. Because this lady here, she was like role playing and she was dressed up to do the role plays, y'all, for real. Because she was doing the, um, the mannequin's hair and it looked like she had on the pink wig and the mannequin had on a pink wig and then she had some little bow rets and bows and she was sticking it in the mannequin's head and she was just kind of taking her finger and going over the bows and then they were in the plastic so she was doing that and 
she was combing on the mannequin's hair. And I want to say that video was like 30, 40,000 views. And then when I saw that video, so that made me kind of go and start looking at her other videos. It's like all her videos were the mannequin and she was doing some type of role play with the mannequin. But every single video, except for maybe five or six, had the mannequin and it was some type of role play with the mannequin where she's tapping on the shoulders. She's got her hand in the mannequin's hair doing that or she's brushing the hair. And I'm like, I just didn't really get it. But you're right, Kara. People are dressing up in costumes doing these videos and they making some money. Oh, we says it, autism mommy. That's a nice one. But I am not done writing the book, but I want to start making money before I am done. Laugh out loud. I have a video slash book trailer, though. Okay. That's a good idea. She says, Ed Curl, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Uh, Tikva says, okay, got to hit the sheets. She says, be safe, stay warm, and we'll check out the rest of the live in the morning. Remember, I don't need gravity. I just need growth. Creator is undefeated. I like that. Thank you, Tikva. Have a great night. And we will hopefully we'll catch you on the next live stream. Uh, Stop Six says, good night, Tikva. Sophia says, yes, at Alvin Whisperland. And we says, at Autism Mummy, you are Carl. Have some solutions and answers to all my questions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Tiva says, age, Commodore 64. <laughs> You're welcome, on we. Uh, Autism says, just do the ASMR until you are finished, or you can just read a chapter per day until it is completed. Yeah, see, the ASMR, I think that's like one of the easiest things to start. Easy um, YouTube channel to start or TikTok. Or if you want to do both, do both. But that's one of the easiest to start, ladies and gentlemen, because you really don't have to go out and buy or purchase anything. If you got a phone with a nice camera, you can record from your phone. You don't even have to buy a microphone. I heard a young lady say she started doing her videos from her iPhone. She said she didn't have the money to... Um, go and purchase a microphone. Now, if you got the money to go purchase a microphone, go purchase a microphone. But if you don't, you can record the videos from your phone. South Six says, let me tell y'all what I love to watch. The miniature food, uh, the miniature pots and pans, utensils, anyone else like that. That's a channel? <laughs> Girl, South Six, come on, spill the beans. Hey, money make addiction. I can't imagine and what a stressful thing it would be if we used that rotary phone only and we had to take <laughs> it. would be funny, wouldn't it? Especially if you had to go back to that. Um, Sophia says, yes, I love the mini food ones where they cook a whole meal. Girl, I ain't seen none of that. Um, Money Make Addiction says laugh out loud. On we says stop six. Not really. McGriff says good night, Tifa. On we says yes. ASMR is easy. Stop six says Sophia. Okay, I love it. Do you get the website? Autism Mom says, and Sophia, I be trying to figure out where they find that tiny food, girl. I ain't even seen. See, now y'all gonna have me up all night because I'm gonna be like, I got to go look at the tiny food videos. I'm writing that down too. Let's see. They got all kind of stuff out here, ladies and gentlemen, that you can do with these websites. Um, Stop Six says, yes, I like to watch them cook the miniature food with the miniature pots and pans. Sophia says, me too. Albin Whisperland buys them online from like the Japanese sites. Oh, uh, Sharita is asking, is it real food, Sophia? Or stop six? I have not seen this. Are they on YouTube or are they on um, some other platform? TikTok or uh, what's some of the other ones? Oh, Lord. Uh, Twitch. Let us know in the comments. Because I have not seen or heard of that. 
So that's a new one for me. So if it says yes, top six says yes, I think so. It's on YouTube. Okay. So YouTube, I'm going to put this down, tiny food. And let me guess. Let me guess, y'all. They got millions of views. <laughs> top six says they cook over the tea lights. Sharita says, wow, that's interesting. Yes, that is interesting. Because I ain't never heard nobody say nothing about no tiny food. Girl, I'm going to have to go get me some tiny food. Um, Stop 6 says, it's so cute. Okay. What did you say, Cynthia? K8? Autism Mummy says, one channel is miniature cooking. Okay, let me write that down. Miniature cooking. Alrighty, y'all. I got the information. Now I'm going to have to go and look. I got to go see now. Now, Tizzle Mama be having me up at night looking at these ASMR videos. <laughs> she got me up looking at these videos, Tizzle Mama. Uh, stop, she says, Sophia, so they're purchasing the miniature foods from Japan? Okay, okay, Cynthia. So we were talking about the miniature food channels, tiny food channels. I didn't, didn't know nothing about this either. Cynthia, have you heard about the miniature food, <laughs> the tiny food channels where they're cooking tiny, teeny, tiny food? Um, Autism Mom says one of their videos has over 6 million views. There are no... Wow. Mm, mm, mm. That's a lot. <laughs> yes, autism mommy, it is your fault that I can't go to bed till about 4 a.m. <laughs> I'm looking at these ASMR videos, dear. And see, now I'm going to be up because I'm going to go and look at the food videos. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> she said, I laid my headphones down and it typed KB. <laughs> um, Sophia says, yes. She says, she does. Uh, I'm not sure about other channels because it's written in Japanese. Oh. Okay, Sophia. And then the sleeping channels, I'm like, wow, they really ain't doing nothing. Now, talk about making some money in your sleep, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you guys have seen where the people are just laying in the bed and they're recording themselves. I saw like several of these videos on TikTok with thousands of views. Uh, Autism Mom says Tiny Cakes is another channel. They have a video with 130. 36 million. Oh, Lord. I'm in the wrong profession. Um, I'm going to go look that one up. Thank you, Autism Mommy. Uh, Stop 6 says, what animal is producing the itsy bitsy eggs? She says, would the quail eggs be small enough? Uh, Cynthia says, no, I haven't. Y'all know we don't eat tiny food in the <laughs> She says, in Texas, we go big. <laughs> Who child? They all these channels. Stop so six says, Cynthia, hell to the now. <laughs> Sharita is laughing. Autism mom said you can change the subtitles in most videos. Okay, so we'll see and know what they're saying. And we said laugh out loud, Kurt. I haven't seen it before. I know I haven't seen it, are we? There's like, what else y'all gonna tell me out there? <laughs> 
Next y'all gonna tell me it's a pig with a wig dancing a jig. <laughs> oh. oh, we says it's Cynthia. Yes, we go big. She says I'm in Texas. <laughs> But yeah, so that's a, that's another that's interesting. That's very very interesting. Cynthia says, "With the tiny food, I might get put out of Texas. I'm gonna have to find another need. <laughs> Not put out, Cynthia. It's like go big or go home. Can't do the tiny. But I mean, it's interesting because." I feel like whatever type of idea you have, and if you think somebody's not gonna look at it, you just you don't know if they looking at people actually sleep in the bed, and I'm like, why is people looking at this? I saw a video, it was some guy laying in the bed, he had recorded himself, and I think that video had about 30, 40,000 views on it. And I'm like, why? Why? But people looking at it. Uh, Sophia says they do have the pets that eat food in ASMR. What? Girl, what? <laughs> oh, Lord. Now, Tilly Mom says, oh, an animal ASMR. That's interesting, Sophia. Uh, we says we have knowledgeable money-making queens here. We do. South Six says, is anyone interested in doing the low-medium content books? I need a partner. Have you tried to do one stop six? I would say that's a good passive income. You just do the work on the front end. And then once you get the book up and going, you straight. Because after that, it's like a set it and forget it. And literally make money in your sleep. Sophia says, it's so cute when the rabbits and the turtles and the doggies. Oh. But wow, an animal ASMR. I wonder can I put my daddy's dog on some ASMR? <laughs> she ain't gonna do right. <laughs> so I see says I started, but I am no good with the covers. Mm, I would say maybe look at some videos and get some ideas. Uh, I'll tell the mama says. Add the channel Animal ASMR to your list, Carol. It's a turtle. Oh, I like turtles. We used to have a turtle when I was a pet. I mean, when I was a pet. When I was a kid. It was a pet. Okay. So I got the tiny food, miniature foods, and now I have the ASMR animals. Style 6 says the cover is so important. Here I go on five and see, can somebody make you a cover stop six? I will go on Fiverr, Fiverr or Upwork. See if you can find somebody to make you a cover for like five, ten dollars. Look at their reviews. Look at their, um, what have they done for others in the past and see. Don't think too hard about it, stop six. It's, it's not that hard and complicated. There are sites out there that you can literally pay five bucks, get somebody to make their cover for you. <laughs> she says, yes, fiber. Thank you. Yeah. Because, girl, you, you will get frustrated trying to get this stuff. And just like with them thumbnails, I was telling Tan, I was like, I don't know how to do no banners and all of that, honey. I got to go on five. And I found the gentleman on five but it made them thumbnails for us. Well, those uh banners for us. And I was like, yep. And I will utilize him from this point on out. He had over a thousand uh views from people, five stars. So child, yeah, paid the little money and we got our uh banner. So you seen the monkey? She says, I've seen the monkeys do ASMR. And autism mama says, and bounce the pit bull. Girl, what? That may not be a bad idea if you got a pet. Because then, you know what I'm saying? You really ain't got to show your face or nothing at all. You just be showing your animal. Cynthia says, stop six. Watch the live when Gene gave some good pointers. He admitted that he didn't know what to do at first. His tips may be helpful. Yep. You right, Cynthia? 
So she says, I know that's right, Kara. Yeah, because we get frustrated, you know, trying to do stuff. And like I was telling people about the ASMR, the videos, don't think too far into it. Go look at somebody else, mimic what they do. Not saying you got to do the exact same thing, but just kind of get an idea of what they're doing and just mimic that. You know what I'm saying? And But put your own spin on it. So if they just maybe sitting in the dark, add a candle to yours, get a lava lamp, put a lava lamp in the background. Not, not saying you're showing your face, but your room is it's dark, but you still got a candle there, still a warm, welcoming, inviting type of environment. So don't think too hard into it, child. Mimic something with these other people doing. That's where your idea is going to come from. I know a lot of people say, well, what do I do to get started? Go look at some video, write down some stuff, come up with some ideas, come up with some color, a color scheme, and there you have it, voila. And we says, Kerr, <laughs> she says, you are right, mimic them, laugh out loud. After all, they mimic others. True that. And if you look at some of the videos on we, some of the AS, uh, ASMR videos, you'll see, like, you'll look at one person, you'll say, okay, I look at that person over there, they doing the same thing. They doing the same thing. The same thing. Tapping, scratching, same thing. So it's like, did you go look at her videos and get that from her? But in a sense, it's kind of like, who cares? Only thing different is the backgrounds. The backgrounds may be different. Whereas to you may be seeing somebody else's face, somebody else over here, you're not seeing their face, but they're doing the exact same thing. Autism Mom says, we all have such a great support system for each other. She says, we're going to be making six figures. Speak it, girl. Speak it. Uh, oh, we says, it's Cynthia laugh out loud. Stop six says, I respect y'all so much for so many reasons, but I noticed that y'all stand on business and get straight to it without boring us with them long drawn out intro. <laughs> Girl, we be trying uh, Stop Six to help anybody that comes here that wants the help from us, like whatever knowledge, whatever tips, tricks that we can share, we most definitely do that. And a lot of our subscribers will do that as well. Because a lot of these side hustles, of course, you know, me and Tan can't do every single one of them. But we do have a lot of people here that do the side hustles, that work the jobs, that can really honestly give a good review on everything that they're doing. And they don't mind doing that. Autism Mom says that Cynthia... Hide them cameras, laugh out loud. Sophia says, especially if you speak another language. And um, we says, on that note, Carl, I won't unsubscribe from those channels. <laughs> yeah, you so funny. She said, so she says, I will mimic them. Laugh out loud. Yep, and we get you some ideas, girl. Write them down. Write them down. And just be like, okay, she hit 100,000 on her video. I'm going to hit 120,000 on mine. <laughs> um, Sophia says, everyone does the same just with their own spin, right? They all do the same, but just kind of dress it up. Put your spin on it. Um, and we says that autism on me, amen. Carl says, manicures are now a business expense. Hello. That's why I got what, Carl? That business credit. Ha-ha! Got to get you some business credit. So you can get you a business credit card, and then you ain't got to worry about putting this stuff on your personal. Uh, Cynthia says, the autism moment, they're going to sniff out the camera. My face straight up. <laughs> she said, get <"Ghetto." laughs> No, Cynthia. Because that's how, they just like kids. They curious. See, I think my daddy's dog would do that. She's going to be acting bad, though. She ain't going to do right. She'll be growling, barking, scratching, taking her paw and doing it to the camera. So, uh-uh. I, I can't put her on no camera. She ain't going to do right. Stop Six says, I know the intros are cute, but y'all don't add all this stuff, especially when y'all are readily dropping jewels daily, multiple times a day. Yeah. And we had some people, Stop Six, to reach out to us about 
uh, could they do an intro for us? I want the Rick Ross every day I'm hustling. I wonder if I reach out to Rick, will he let me get that? <laughs> will he let me sample that every day I'm hustling? That's the intro I want for us. Every day I'm hustling. <laughs> Uh, we says, Carl, please, what did you say about business card? I don't think I got it. The business credit card, on we business credit. Biz, get you some business credit, girl. Then you can get the business credit cards. And then whatever your business, whatever you need to purchase and buy, you can purchase it with the business credit. And that will save your personal credit. I put everything for me. Everything goes be if i go somewhere and i buy some i heard this lady say this on the video she has a channel here on youtube i started watching her like two years ago and she was giving the information on how to set up your business credit how to get business credit cards in your business name how to purchase stuff in your business name cars houses stuff like that well i already knew about the houses but the cars so she did an interview with somebody and they asked her Anytime she has to go and purchase something, what does she use? Does she use her personal credit cards or does she use her business credit cards? And she was like, business credit cards. And they was like, well, what if you had to, you know, go to the store, buy some groceries? She was like, business credit card. They was like, okay, what if you have to go to the mall? You need a new pair of shoes. Business credit cards. So everything she was saying, it makes sense because if you have bad personal credit, you can get business credit and build up your business credit and then start taking that money and paying off your personal debt. And then your personal debt turn around and it becomes good. So that's what I was saying, girl. Business credit cards. Um, Tanya says, I just found out a cool way to make money. Have you ever tried the Premise app? I never heard of that one, Tanya. Or is it Tanya? I may be saying it wrong. Uh, Stop Six says, yes, do it, do it. Autism Mama says, go on, drop them bars. <laughs> Every day I'm fussing. <laughs> now, if I can get that one, Autism Mama, it's, it's the intro, girl, we good. I, I, I'm going to have to reach out to Rick and say, hey. Big brother, I need that every day I'm hustling on my video. What you going to charge? You going to charge me a minute late? But he might not. He might not. He might be like, you know what? What you got going? Be like, you know what, Rick? I'm trying to feed the streets. <laughs> With work from home job. That's what I'm trying to do. He might go on and give it to me. Who knows? Oh, we said laugh out loud. She says, okay, thanks, Carl. Stop six says there's a way to use that song, but you have to change it up a little bit, you know, kind of like DJs do the mixtapes. Yeah. I just don't want him coming over here and somebody, you know, running and telling him stop six that I used it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he run over here and like, I'm finna sue down. Mm -mm. We ain't got time for that. We ain't, we ain't like you, Ricky. Ricky Rose say. Oh, we says, uh, Tanya, she says, Tanya, I, I'm saying Tanya, but it could be Tanya or it could be, I'm saying Tanya, it could be Tanya. She says, please tell us about it. Cynthia says, oh, Carl, that's a gem. What's her YouTube link? Which one, Cynthia? For who, girl? You know, I done talked about a lot of people tonight. Stop six says, every day I'm hustling. That would be so fire and fit. Yes, I thought so too, Stop six. Girl, I'm going to have to do a little begging on that one. Like, Rick, I need that. I really need that. For the I really need that, Rick, for the channel. I just wonder what he do it, though. He might. If he see what I'm trying to do. Oh, Cynthia, are you saying about the um, business credit? You want her channel. I think that's who you're asking about. Yep, I know her channel. Let me go get it. She be dropping all kind of gems, girl, about the business credit. Because I swear, I knew about it, but not how she goes into detail about it.
But this lady, I think she's like a multi-millionaire. <clears throat> okay, I'll put it in the chat, uh, Cynthia, if you want to check her out. Uh, Tanya says the... Uh, is it premise or premieres? Pre what is it? Premise? I may be saying it wrong. She says, uh, pays you for data collection. You can pay 130 hours uh, for photos of store items and surveys. Now, is it on Android or iPhone? We're going to look it up. Premise. Maybe it's premise. <laughs> uh, McGree says two chicks We are hustling, hustling, hustling <laughs> Yep, she got a lot of subscribers on we But she does give good business credit information And just with me listening to her channel I, um, start, I took action And started building up my business credit Cynthia says thanks yeah, and you can do the same. Everybody can do it. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. Because I was like, I know these folks, they probably going to be real hard on the business credit. But actuality, folks, I think the business credit will give you the credit cards quicker than the personal credit sometimes. Because I've seen a lot of people that's in her comments and also some other YouTubers that I follow about the business credit in their comments as well. Uh, on we which one? She was asking, "How do you know all of these?" Yeah, that's what rich people do. They use O P M, and that stands for other people's money. Stop six says, "When I found out the way the rich people use." Um, one business to finance another business and just bankrupt the company that you <laughs> and keep it going because as long as your personal credit is good, see, you can repeat it. Clarify the question on we. Yeah, that's why I said get the business credit because you ain't got to worry about your personal credit be good. But this show what rich people do, girl. <clears throat> Even Helen just said this, y'all. Uh, we says for the business credit, do you have an idea of how much one can get? Whatever you like, queen. I would say on we. <clears throat> Start with the, what they call tier one accounts. Those are easy to get. But first you got to get, you need an LLC, you need to get your EIN, and you need to go get you a bank account. Then you need to take whatever you're doing. Like, you know, if you work in a job, take a percent of your paycheck deposited into your business account because they got to see that the business generate income. So that's the first thing you're going to have to do. First thing you need to do, look up your state and see what do they charge for the LLCs in your state. Every state is going to be different. So you will need to do that first. Get your LLC, EIN. And you really can get all of this in a day or so. See what Texas charge for you to get an LLC. Okay, so you can get really pretty much all of this done in like a day or so. And then once you get your papers in the mail, then you would need to go set up you a business bank account. So Sophia says $300. <laughs> Autism Mama says, Curry, we need you to do a after dark to help us create these business accounts. I can do that, Autism Mommy, no problem. So $300 on we, you want to get the LLC, 
you want to get the EIN number, which you can get that free. So don't let somebody say, no, you got to pay for that. No, it's free from irs.gov. Then once you get that, they're going to send you the LLC, the paperwork in the mail, because you got to have that to get your business bank account. Then once you get the business bank account, if you are working a job or a side hustle, start depositing money in that business account because you got to show the companies that your business is making money. Right. Helen says, and don't pay for the EIN. She says, they disguise these sites to look like they're the official IRS site, but if it asks you to pay, it is not. Yep. And Tanya says, as well as the free Don's number. Yep. Yep. Go to the Secretary of State. Y'all got it. See y'all, some of y'all ladies in here know about this business credit. Then after you do all of that on we, then you can start applying for credit cards, credit, credit, credit cards. And it seems to me it, it, with the business credit, it's like, girl, they just, the doors just open up and you can just get all kinds of stuff. Girl, these folks will be emailing you saying, hey, we got this credit card. If you, especially if you apply for like a couple of them, you will see in your email, folks will just start sending you stuff, sending you stuff, sending you stuff. And I, let me say this too, on we don't use a Gmail account. So when you set the business up, the way I set mine up, I have a, what they call a virtual address. So it's not my home address. It's a virtual address that I have. I also have a virtual phone number and I have a different type of email. So don't use the Gmail. Use something like mail at and then whatever your business name is dot com. So we don't use the, the Gmail because it's a business. So keep that in mind, ladies, when you are setting up these accounts. Um, don't do the Gmail. Don't do the Yahoo's. Get you a professional email. Get you a phone number. Get you a virtual address. Um, and we says, I asked because I discussed with one vending machine company and they wanted to give me credit, but I declined. Okay. Uh, Sophia says, buy your domain. You got a website? Yep. But don't do your home address. Don't do that. Get you a virtual address, not a P.O. box. Don't do the P.O. box and don't do your home address. Now, one of my businesses, I will say I did do my home address, but that's because the business actually was here in my home, which is that's the lip gloss business, but I should not have done it that way. But they still gave me stuff, even though I did it that way. I still got credit with co different companies. But I'm just telling y'all, don't make that mistake that I did and use your home address. Even Helen says it's better to use a virtual address or a UPS store box than a P.O. box. Yep, don't do the P.O. box. Yep, on we it's a virtual um address yes stop six says use your ein instead of your ssn for utilities if you're starting from scratch get an account with navy federal credit union she says navy federal credit cards have the lowest interest rates in the country i have heard that about navy uh helen says when you buy a domain name buy an email address that matches it yep and you want your stuff to look professional and it's a lot of um, people on YouTube that I follow. And they basically, all of them say the same thing about the virtual address, the professional email, get you a professional phone number, not your cell phone, but a professional phone number. Um, Sophia says, yes, ma'am. Um, we said, stop six things. Uh, Helen says the UPS store gives you an actual street address and you can receive packages there. See, I got a, it's like the UPS store, Helen, where I live, um, for the two chicks, but, uh, we do get mail there. It's an actual building 
and they rent out the um kind of like the UPS store, so they rent out the boxes for you to get mail there. But it's an actual company, they got like a company inside this particular building. Uh stop six says if anyone has any issues getting an account with Navy Federal, let me know and I'll let you use my member access. Sophia says, Yes, they're great. Carol says, Don't you think you can write of clothes only uniforms at Sure City if you can't sit down in it? It's wardrobe. Um, something you don't use in real life. Uh I don't know, Carol. Because what if you have like a speaking event? You got to buy an outfit for that. It's, it's a business event, right? I would consider that as a write-off because this is a business event. I had to go and buy this outfit. <laughs> I had to go and, you know, get this hotel room. I had to go get a rental car. I had to go to the airport. I had to get on a plane and fly out there. I'm thinking that, yeah, you should be able to write that off. Uh, Stop 6 says, Helen, I didn't know that. She says, thank you, girl. And on we, she gave you a heart. And uh, Helen says, you're welcome. It's Stop 6. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't know about like the, the virtual addresses instead of using a P.O. box or your home address, um, as well as the telephones and um getting a business bank account and making sure that everything matches up like all the names they line up together the llc because whatever you put on that llc when the bank gets it they're gonna look at that and say okay you got this in tj and f enterprises so the bank account is gonna say tj and f enterprises and everything that you guys apply for Everything should match up. TJ and F Enterprises. Uh, and we says, I didn't know all about that, Carl. I just got to know that from you. Oh, okay, are we? Uh, Stop 6 says, yes, the virtual address, you can use a Google number. I wouldn't suggest that, Stop 6. Um, You can get the number from a site. You got to pay for it, though. Like running a business, it ain't cheap. It's not cheap, y'all, but um, yeah, don't forget the Don and Brad Street. No, I think I got that last. That was last on my list, the Don and Brad Street. Um, Helen says, all my businesses are home-based, so all of my clothes are work clothes. Laugh out loud, plus one of them is a clothing business, so anything I order is a sample or I'm wearing it for promotion. Um. Cynthia said, I mean, Carl says, check with an accountant. And she says, I was told a rental is a write-off, which is why rent the runway is practical. Oh, so it is a write-off. Okay. Well, thank you, Carl. Uh, Because it's a Google number. It's not like a professional number. So I wouldn't suggest the Google number. I mean, I didn't do the Google number. I went through a uh, website that offers number, phone numbers. And then it's like when that person calls, like say, say if somebody's calling you and they'll say, the Google voice number, you don't really want that. You don't want them to hear that. So see, if you call my number, you're going to hear me on the answering machine. But what happens is if you call the number, It'll roll to a voicemail, and if you leave me a message, then I'll receive your message in the form of an email. So you really wouldn't want a Google number, and then the person is calling you is like, oh, they got a Google number? Like, this ain't professional? You know what I'm saying? Stop six. So I just wouldn't suggest it. I mean, you can if that's what you want to do, you can do that, but I just... I wouldn't suggest it. I'm like Helen. I got a grasshopper number. Yeah. She says, I use a grasshopper number because it was recommended to get an actual number if you ever want business funding. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. um, for which one only? 
Uh, Cynthia says, if you can prove it's your business, you could write it off. I write off a lot of things that is associated with me performing mystery shops, including travel, food, and rentals. Yep. She says, and I keep my proof in a spreadsheet. Good idea. Uh, Stop six says, okay, say less. I'm picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> she says, you're right. You're right. Oh, for the phone, Grasshopper. The company is called Grasshopper only. And I'll type it here. Grasshopper. And then for the address, we got someone here in our city. So you could type in like virtual address and see what companies come up. But for us, we use the company that was right here in our city. She says, okay, thanks. But yeah, Grasshopper. Yep. Professional phone number because you want to make it look legit if you want that credit. Now, some of the companies I will say, um, I didn't even have my business bank account yet, but I was able to get credit with uh, American Express. So, some of them it just kind of depends on who it is, some of them are lenient. And if you got some money in your personal um, account, Sometimes they will approve you to get a business credit card. Uh, Stop six says Lily is a free business account and it is recognized. Uh, is it like a checking account? Is Lily like a bank? I don't know what Lily is. I've never heard of that one. Oh, he says, okay. But yeah, just some of the companies on we. If you don't have your um, business bank account, they will say, "Okay, well, send me your personal um, checking account," and they will approve you off of that. But I've never heard of Lily Stop Six. What kind of an account is that? Is it a Visa? MasterCard, is it a checking, a business checking account? Let us know, because I've never heard of that company. There's so many of them out there, though. It's a lot of them I haven't heard of. Some of them are just, like, popping up, coming to the scenes. But um, she says it's more on the style of the chime. Okay. Yeah, I never heard of Lily. She said it's a business check-in. Okay. And that, you said it's a free business account. Okay. But a lot of the banks will do business with you. Some of them, you can go online and open up the account. You don't even have to go into the branch. As long as your stuff, like we say, as long as your everything matches up, then you can get a business account easily. So this, I don't think the business uh, banking accounts, the checking accounts, savings accounts, I don't think that'll be hard to get at all. Because you, like I said, you can literally do some of them online and you don't even have to go into the branch. And you may have to step in just to, you know, show your ID or something like that. But some of them just to let you do it online, girl. Like, I think American Express, I think you can sign up with them online because they don't have, like, an actual bank here where I live. So, with that one, you can do a business checking account with them. And then, see, with them, um, some people have said that if you do the account with them, the business checking account, then they will open up the floodgates for you to get those credit cards from them, the business credit cards from them. I've heard of Blue Vine. Helen says, I use Blue Vine. She says, it's also free and gives 2% interest. I have heard of that one. And that's not bad at all. Giving that interest, um, Helen, that's not bad at all. Well, y'all, I guess I'm finna get off of her. I just looked at the time. I just been on her talking. Y'all didn't even tell me, Carl, you're talking too much. It's time for you to get off of here. <laughs> one o'clock. After one now. 
I guess we got to do a two chicks after dog business credit, huh? Like Autism Mama said. <laughs> you welcome, are we? She says, I see. But yeah, it's not hard to set up. Um, it's not hard to set up a business at all. Accounts and stuff. Uh -uh. She says, I deeply appreciate it. Uh, South Six says, I'm Navy Federal Credit Union all the way. I like Navy. I do like them. And we says, right, laugh out loud. Uh, South Six says, we were enjoying every minute. Ah, thank you, Queen. Well, I'm going to drop these links in the chat. Y'all know how I do every night. So in case you miss some, if you miss Prolific, I'm about to start dropping on y'all way out the door. Grab it and go. <laughs> Uh, Carl says, when I had a delivery business, the business owned the car, the computer, the camera. We just rented them for a dollar a month. That's a good idea, Carl. Right, because I need to go give me a ride in the business name. <laughs> I was looking at the lady that I was telling y'all about. She has several cars, trucks in her business name, but she does the, the Turo business. So that's another side hustle egg if, you know, anybody here wants to get into that. My cousin, she's getting ready to do um, Tarot. She just went and got a car last week. And so she told me, she said, I'm going to go ahead on and list my car on Tarot. So we'll see how that turns out. Sophia says, night. And we says, thank you. She says, have a good night. Sophia says, thank you, ladies. You're welcome, Queen. Cynthia says, thank you, Kara, so much. Golden information. Stop six says, we're here to help each other. And I love it. Love it. Yep, we are. I agree, uh, Stop six. Because some of y'all be sharing stuff with us that they know nothing about. Especially like these ASMR sites and YouTube channels that I can go and check out and look at. So... I'm going to be up the rest of the night <laughs> looking at these videos that Autism Mummy and dropped in the chat and the ones that uh, um, Sophia dropped, the ones y'all was talking about with the tiny food. I'm going to go look at it, y'all, see what this tiny food is about. And I'm going to look up the animals, too, the ASMR animals. So I'm going to be up for a minute <laughs> looking at stuff. Cynthia says, um, thank you, Carl. South Six says, good night, on we. She says, good night, Carl. Ramina, hey, Ramina. She says, good night. Uh, South Six says, good night to all my girls. Good night, ladies. I'm dropping the link as y'all exit the building. And we'll be back on live because tomorrow is Wednesday. So that's our regular time, regular day to be on the live stream so we will most definitely be back on here tomorrow tomorrow night stop six um probably around eight eight ish eight thirty i don't really like to say a time because if i say it it may not happen <laughs> It may not happen all time at that time. And people be looking for it and be like, I thought she told me 8.30. And then it's like, oops, shouldn't have said that. So I would say between maybe 8.30 and 9.30. Cause Tan has to get herself together. She says, yay. Uh Cynthia says, good night, fam. Polo Lonnie. I didn't know you were still her chick. She says, good night, everyone. Good night, Polo Lonnie. Hopefully, we'll see you guys on here tomorrow. And I'm just dropping the links in case anybody here is looking. Uh, Stop six says, notifications on. Okay, Queen. Hopefully, you will be here tomorrow.
All right, I think that's it, y'all. Okay, a couple more. A couple more I see up here on my tab. Sharita says, good night, everyone. Good night, Queen Sharita. Okay, y'all, I think I got them all. One more, and I'm out. Y'all have a good night, and I will see you guys on here tomorrow night. I don't know what time. I'm just going to say maybe between 8 and 9.30. Good night, YouTube. Bye, y'all. Have a great night.